Mute, Mr. Dunaway. Test, wait, test one, two. Test one, two. Okay, just making sure. Uh, let me put Brian, <clears throat> his link for Mr. Dunaway. If you don't follow Brian Dunaway, you should. He plays a lot of indie games right now. He's playing... You know, I don't know what game he's playing. Uh, he's he's titled it Friday Nights, Am I Right? Oh, uh, here we go. X X01. That space game with the thing is what he put. X01. X01. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's called X01. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. There you go. There's the link for it. X01. Uh... 17 bucks. <clears throat> uh, a strange. Wait. Is this the description? A strange signal, an alien craft, an interplanetary gravity defined journey through space and time. Cool. Anyway, that's what Brian is playing right now. Um, I am playing. Oh, let me tweet this out as well. I am playing something a little bit more. Um, What's the word? Non-planetary? Uh, Terran? What's the word? T uh, terrestrial? No. Terrestrial is... Yeah, terrestrial, right? And that means like ground related? Anyway, I'm playing Breakpoint. And I'm drinking a peach nectar. Ooh, you know what I didn't think about doing? Putting booze in this? Eh, I probably won't drink tonight. I don't really need to. I'm not I'm not a huge streaker, but I like to have a little bit of a alcoholic beverage on Fridays, you know. Um, but I kind of don't want to drink anything because I don't need my uh, I, I don't need like a uh, downer, if you will. <laughs> I've already had enough of that with all the uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, stuff that I had. So yesterday was Thanksgiving here in the States, and um, I didn't. I, I did pretty well. Just like last year, uh, I was able to enjoy myself but not go too crazy. Um, I know some people don't even really think about this. I was like saying some of this to some of my family last night, and they're like, oh. "Like, okay, you've never had a significant weight problem, so I don't expect you to understand." But I don't appreciate just being dismissed like that. You know, it's like there are certain people who are not necessarily skinny, but have never had a significant weight problem. And they don't understand how someone like me who has lost 70 pounds doesn't want to gain it back. And, you know, wants to try to be careful about their diet. And, you know, anyway, whatever. So I didn't do too well, too badly, I think. Um, I gained like a couple pounds overnight. It's like, or I think it was like two and a half. Uh, but like, I checked my blood sugar. I check that every day. I don't really need to at this point, but I still check it every day. And my blood pressure as well. My blood sugar was normal. Like, it wasn't. I mean, I. I mean, I had. Uh, with my dinner, I had two rolls. I had two. Yeah, two rolls. These fantastic. Um, um, what do you call it? Yeast rolls, you know, that you proof and all that stuff. I had two of those. I had like two helpings of ham. I had turkey. I had uh, two helpings of uh, sweet potato, like casserole thing, like a sweet, you know, whatever thing. I had small pieces of a chocolate pie, a pumpkin, or actually I think it was a sweet potato pie. Uh, and my, my niece, uh, my sister's eldest daughter, she made these things that my sister actually used to make, but they're like, they're kind of like those oatmeal pie things, they're like this big. They're kind of like those, but it's made with like a carrot cake thing. I had one of those. Um, and then I went to a friend's house and had, uh, uh, what did they have? It was a, uh, no, that was the, that was the pumpkin pie that I had. I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself and I only gained two and a half pounds. And my blood sugar was it normal. Like you'd think with what I ate, you know, but no, it was fine. Um, my blood pressure was a little bit elevated, but I mean, like 122 over 81, like big deal. So um, I was very pleased that, uh, you know, nothing went too crazy. 
So um, hopefully y'all, uh, I hope y'all, uh, um, Thanksgiving, if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope that went well for you as well. Um, it was good here in the States. It was, or here at my house, I should say. It was good. It was fun. Uh, I'm going to switch to conquest mode because I have some stuff I want to get, some um, collectibles that I want to get. Also, I want to um, uh, max out my um, invisibility cloak gear thing. So we're going to switch to conquest. Confirm. <clears throat> but yeah, it was uh, it was good. I got to see my, my mom's sister Katie came down from um, not down actually came up from Corpus to visit, or I think she's still living in Corpus. Anyway, she came down to visit, so it was good to see her. Uh, I even got some footage, uh, so I drove all of us to my sister's house. So we rode drove over in my car, and I had my dash camera up. So I've got some great footage of us in the car. Like it's great. So I'm like, that's kind of cool. I went ahead and even like saved it already to my photos and stuff. Like, so I have it on my phone and stuff. And so if I ever want to see videos of, of my aunt and my mom and my dad and me all chatting away in my car, I have footage. It's kind of cool. Because now that I think about it, I didn't take any pictures of my aunt at all. So I'm like, well, that's okay. We got, it's one of those things where you go, yeah, I kind of wish I'd take some pictures, but I mean, you know, who? Yeah, I could take pictures or I could just enjoy time with everybody. All right. Now, uh, now what we want to do is, uh, let's see, let's go to, um, oops, passed it up here. Because we're not going to start all the missions over again. We're not going to do that, but... Oh, wait, not investigations. Sorry. Um, although these, you go... Everything will be revealed. For all of this stuff, that's what comes up. So you go like, well, there is no... You're not missing a clue. I don't know when they plan on <clears throat> revealing everything, but... Okay, whatever. But now we want to do collectibles. And um, let's do world lore. No, wait. Uh, wait, no, it wasn't. Um, shoot, I think it was under VIP profiles. These are the ones that I don't have. <clears throat> so we'll do that. We'll do that. This will at least get the ones that are in conquest, right? That will get these, but then I still have more to go other than that. So now we can go to the map. Oops, wrong way. Go to the map. And uh, there's none over here. Uh, wait, is it not going to tell me where? Okay, I guess they won't tell me. Um. In the AG Codon region, well, how do I know which region that is? Oh, it's right there. It's weird though, because it doesn't show it as. Oh, okay, there we go. AG Codon, southeast of Lake Roundabout. Uh, okay, here we go. So southeast, so here probably? In the equipment depot. Oh, that's it right there. Uh, interesting though, because it doesn't show that this profile info is here though. Like when you look at the unique plunders, it doesn't show up there. It should, right? <clears throat> Well, whatever. I'll still go there. Um, uh, there's not really a close... I guess I'll just fast travel this one. There's not really a closest one. I've got my monster drink as well here. I've got a, another zero sugar monster drink watermelon. These are really, really good. Um, it's only 10 calories. So there's no... I think there's no sugar, period. 
or is it no added sugar? Sometimes things say no added sugar. Uh, yeah, it says total sugars zero. Ah, okay. But there are six grams of carbs, so that's where your 10 calories come in at. Um, but those things are great. They're, uh, I usually get them from this uh, gas station that I go to, and they're a little expensive because they'll like, they'll have them two. You buy two and get one free, but they're still like two or three bucks a piece. I think they're like 250 something like that a piece. Wow, it's dark. Okay. I don't know why I'm whispering. All right, here we go. 500. Oh, this is uh, this is where me and d were at yesterday. I guess I just didn't get all the stuff in here. It says it's in the equipment depot. Let me go ahead and get some light. Well, no, this is better. Yeah, this didn't say that there was any... It says collect profile info, but... Hmm, I didn't see any, but okay. Because it'll tell you on the map. Oh, I wonder if... Uh, you know what, there may not be any bad guys, because I didn't reset it, right? Oops. Activating night vision. Activating night vision. Come on. There we go. Um, yeah, I guess it's... I guess there aren't any bad guys in here. Okay. I hear guys yelling. Uh, there's a case up here, but... Uh... That's a good guy. Green means good. Stay uh, wait, where's the case? Oh, it's upstairs. It's up in the thing. Oop, back over this way. Oh, nope, wait, down this, nope, wait. Wait, where's the entrance? Oh, it's right here. This way. This way. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to listen to these guys saying their little things over and over again. I guess I should have this on because I really can't see that well. Time to switch to night vision. Time to switch to night vision. I'd love to do voiceover for games like this. That'd be great. I'd love to do voiceover as period. That'd be great. Okay, that's the boots. Let me see. Let me go back to the map here. This says in the equipment depot. Collect profile info. Mm. It's not like over here, is it? No. I mean, this doesn't show it, but I, I mean, I guess I have to just search. Let me see, put the drone out and see if that does it. I mean, there's another box over here, but I don't think it's going to be... <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's not going to be in a box, though. It's going to be kind of just loose, right? I think that's usually how it is. Although those APCs are so cool. I mean, there's a box there, but that's that's not that's not how they come. That's not not how that works. Um, it should show up as a thing, as a blue thing. Oops. Oops. Um. I hope I don't have to go online to try to find out where these things are at. 
Because uh, I should show up as a blue little thingy, right? I think. I always forget. Like, you don't think about it unless you see one. So I'm trying to think of how... So perhaps not over there. Um, that just showed me where I'm at. Um, like it should be one of those things that says uh, that you can click on, right? Maybe it's way over here. Keeps giving me that. It keeps making that little click sound, but that's just the bivouac that's over there. Uh, hmm. I might have to look it up on the internet because. I mean, I've already done the mission, so I don't need to, like, you know, it's not, like, cheating necessarily. Uh. Ready for this fight? Um. I wonder if somebody's got a map on line that just shows, like, here's all the breakpoint, uh, like profile infos are, you know? Because I'm not seeing them. And they should show up, I mean, like as a blue thingy, right? You can go to the map overhead again. Um... I mean, it says it's here. Let's see. Breakpoint. Collect. Profile. Oops. Uh, A-G-C-O-P-O-N. Uh... Images. Oh, no, this person says impossible profile info collectible. Oh, no, that's not here, though. It doesn't help. Uh. Hey, D-Bill, what's going on, man? Ranger Rick. Uh, yeah, I remember when we were playing the other day, I was trying, I'm trying to like get all the other profile info things, but I'm looking at, uh, yeah, I'm trying to find, uh, shoot. Oh, wait, hang on. Here's somebody who I think. Uh, oh, these people are saying it's a bug. I think this is one that we looked at before. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Wait, what? What is this? No, I don't know what this person is looking at, but that's not... That's like... No, that's something else. Uh... Okay, let's just assume that this one's bugged and let's move on to the next one. Sector sector three in the H whatever Orpheus area thing, right? Okay. Um Sector Zero Three, that's here. So here's sector three. Oh. Uh near the lava duct. So here's the lava duct. Uh, 
near the lava duct? That's all you're going to tell me? Oh, well, it's right there. There's the collectible right there. Okay, well, let's just go back here. All right, let's go back here. Yeah, so I'm hoping... Um, I'm hoping I can find these because... Uh, oh, I need to put in a movie. I started watching The Fisher King. Uh, it was on sale the other day. I was like, oh, yeah, I always wanted to get The Fisher King. Love that movie. And uh, uh, plus, I think it's 4K. Well, this shows HD because I can watch 4K on my computer now as well. Uh, do I not have... Is it not... I thought it was 4K. No, I guess not. Anyway, um, but man, that movie is so great. Uh, the part where Robin Williams' character is telling the story of the Fisher King to Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges? Jeff Bridges. It's such a beautiful moment. Like, just so cool. And makes you miss um, Robin Williams, you know. Putting on night vision. Uh, which way are we going? Oh, this way. By the way, let's just take this light out because this light's annoying. There we go. Switching the night vision. There we go. That's better. Uh, there we go. So now it's going to be somewhere in here. Reloading. Near the lava duct. <clears throat> Did you get all the collectibles yet, Devo? Are you still on, like me working on them? Because I didn't, I didn't restart the missions, so all the missions are done. Uh, I'm just doing the, the deals here. Let's see. Guys, this is way high. So it should be lava duct. So there's a case there. Oh, there's some bad guys still here. <clears throat> so this is a lava duct here, so it should be somewhere around in here, right? Roger. Nothing either. Uh. Hmm. over here, aren't they? It's probably up around here somewhere. It should show up on the map, right? Isn't that usually how this works? All it said was it's near the lava duct, but it's like, I, I don't know. Ooh, there's a bad guy. Well, I probably just need, no matter what, I probably still need to come up this ladder. But that first one that I've got listed there, I don't know what the deal is with that one. I have no idea. Nope, keep going. And then, yeah, I still need like three, I think 3,000 something uh, points. Yeah, it might be, mm, could be where the boss is. I mean, it should show up on the map when you're going over everything, I think. I would think, I would think so. I don't know. We'll just start some trouble regardless. Because the thing is, it should be... Yeah, I mean, it's going to be right up in that area. I mean, this is where... This is an area that I did not go to when I was doing the raid before. Um... Can I shoot that light? What was that? Um, 
there's another light. Got him. Uh, ooh, sniper way over here. Activated night vision goggles. Got him. Oh yeah, that's right. This has only got five rounds in it. Got him. Oh, missed him. That got him. Reloading. It's my favorite thing to do in these kind of games is just start picking the guys off with a sniper rifle. Hey, my cup exploded. What happened? Or, well, it's not a cup, but... Reloading. Uh... You know what? It's a long way down, but that's okay. I don't think... I don't think they'd be in the in these things, though, would they? The profile info? I don't know. I don't think so. They should be like a collectible thing, right? Oops. We're sneaky and quiet. Oh, there's a dude right there. Crap. Oh, I see the uh, deal there now. Stab, 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 stab. Got him. Ooh, he had a gold item. Nice. Um, how do I get to that? Okay, this way. Oh, bad guy right there. I got him. Ooh, there's bad guys way over there. Ah, he went around the corner. Now, I don't want to shoot the uh, gun emplacement deals. Put my night goggles on. Let's see, Let shot that guy. Uh, sink shot. Uh, shot that guy. There we go. Wait for it. Mm. To the I just think shot him. Ready, go there we go. Targets eliminated. That's right. Uh, yeah, down down here. Reloading. Swap back. Reload that as well. Oh, jeez. Hang on. I'm just going visible. Haha, uh -huh, you can't see me. Oh, hang on. There we go. That's weird that he was running around the corner. I wonder if he like heard me and was running to try to see what that was, maybe? Like, what was that noise? Okay. That guy came around this corner though, didn't he? Aha. Here. 
Uh. Hmm. I'm clear over here for now. For now. Grab all the items. Uh. We must have got him. There's nothing else moving out here. Oh, let's get around the thing. That was close. Okay. Oh, shoot. The case is down there. Uh, well, that's all right. Let's jump down. It's not going to be in the case, though, right? That's, like, where you get weapons and equipment, not, um, uh, collectibles. Man, oh man, I've been through this area so many times before. It is very, it's so funny. I think D-Bell, you were the one who said that it's very Splinter Cell of me to want to take out all the lights. And I think that's exact, it's so funny because I think that's exactly it. Like, yeah, playing Splinter Cell makes me like go, yeah, I need to take the lights out. Uh, yeah, Metal Gear, I think I only played, I'm sure I played the original one on Nintendo way back when, but the one I mainly played was, um, uh, Snake Eater, that was three, I think that was part three, uh, I played the hell out of that one. Okay, if it was up here, it would appear, like, on my deal. So it's not, so it shouldn't be up there. But it could be, like you say, where the boss was at, which would be over here. Uh, well, it's not in there. Um, it wouldn't be way over here, I don't think, would it? I guess it could be. Either that or it's way the hell up here. I always wonder what would happen if I flew my drone underneath the lava. Because this is where the, uh, the, uh, behemoth was at. I don't think you can even go up here. So it's not there either. Uh... I hope this is another one, another one of those ones that's glitched. I don't think it is. But when I look at the map, uh, and I'm selected on Lava Duct, it shows that there's a collectible here. Oh wait, hang on, maybe I'll do this. Hang on. Uh, oh, and let me, I was gonna play a movie. Um, let's play, uh, let's play The Rock. We're not gonna watch it, we're just gonna have it play. I don't like when my computer goes um, quiet and everything. Okay, breakpoint. Uh, Katya. 
Ball 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 Diary. Okay. Uh, what? This is saying some. This person couldn't find it either. It doesn't exist, and some other Intel items are also glitched. Oh man, man. Uh, there's somebody else looking for the diary here. Um, it says, yeah, minor bug too. Another possible bugged one is the age. Uh, see, so these all, dude, D-Bail, all of these might be bugged. That could be the problem with all of these. I don't mind bugs in games when it's like, you know, like Skyrim bugs where a character looks weird or they're half inside of a wall, you know? Like, I don't mind those. These I don't like. These kind of... Um, these ones I don't like with this kind of a bug because clearly it's not here because it would have shown up already well honestly if it's what's her name's diary it should be right in here it should be uh, uh, was it over, I think it was over here right I think this right through here was the boss's area right wasn't it uh, I think she was. I think it was in here where she was at. Oh, really? Was it? See, I didn't have. I didn't. I didn't come across any of those bugs in Resistance. Thank goodness. See, this is. I think where she was at. Um. Oh my gosh! You fall off the map. Oh, that sucks. Or maybe she was here. Because this is where the laser thing was, I think. Uh, yeah, you know what? Those bugs where it's funny, I'm cool with those. Those are great. Those are so fun. But when it's a bug where you go, okay, well, that just that broke the game. Like, I can't, I can't go any further because there's a bug. Those are the ones that suck. Um, yeah, this is... This is where I was looking through the window. You'd think her diary would be here where she was. And it's not here. It just dropped out of the map. Yeah, I think I had that with um, Wildlands. I don't think I ever had that with Breakpoint. Alright. Let's look up. Let's go to Camp Salamander then. Sector 2. So that's over here. Oh, no, actually that's here. Um, Orpheus region. Uh, oh, that's good. They patched it right away. Um, uh, Camp Salamander. I know where that's at. That's here somewhere. Uh, there it is, Camp Salamander. Okay, so we're going to fast travel here. All right, we'll see if this one's bugged as well. And if it is, then we'll have to assume that probably all of them are bugged and forget it. I'll just uh, work on getting my camo points. <laughs> we'll just do that. Okay. This is, should be like like right whoops right behind me right uh i uh uh the the like resistance reward rank oh i don't know i don't know that one um crap where am i going Oh, right there. Okay. Watch the lava. I found out the hard way that yes, the lava will end up killing you if you're not careful. Like you can run run across it a little bit, but it will hurt you. Uh. 
A resistance reward rank. I don't remember that one. Can I shoot that? Well, I can shoot it, of course. Ah, there it goes. Okay, cool. Yeah, the lava, I found out very quickly. Also, it will kill your vehicle, like, right away. Like, whatever vehicle I have, you have, forget it. It's going to kill you, kill it big time. You know what? I think I'm going to switch, I think I'm going to switch back to my tack real quick. Because this one, even though you can fire right, you know, round after round, it, uh, it has such terrible recoil. I wonder about, um, what about, like, my Paladin? You know what, let's switch to the Paladin just for the heck of it. Um, yeah, the, I think I've gone over, hang on, let me see, hang on a second, let me check something real quick. Uh... Yeah, no, we're switching to T5XI. That's the best scope for this, for any kind of sniper. Yeah, much better. Stay vigilant. Many hostiles have scanned. I know, huh? Oh, this Paladin only has five rounds as well. Shoot. Ooh, that got him. Nice. Uh, Night vision on. Do not have a shot at the sniper, though. Oh, he saw something, didn't he, though? Well, I'll just have to do that. Okay. Oh, there's more dudes. Oh, crap. Oh, dang it. Oh, shoot. I need to hit, I need to hit that dude before he starts calling for reinforcements. Oh, boy. Oh, dang it. I'll give you a better look. Okay, hostiles alerted. Hey, look alive! Be more than out for us. Take care. I do. Ah, shoot. There we go. There's the reinforcements, dude. Combat drone activated. I heard that. Time to shine, buddy. There, pass up. Can you get it? I hit one. Shoot. Oh, they missed him. Nailed that got him. Reinforcements incoming. Great. Oh, there's a... I saw an invisible dude, I think. Come on. Oh, got him. I see him. 
I hear the invisible dudes. I can hear them. Ah, oh, dang it. Freaking snipers, man. There we go, that got him. That got him, okay. Yeah, they've got the weird SMGs, and I think they also, I'll hear like, uh, it sounds like comm traffic or something. Oh, who's gonna see me? Activating night vision goggles. Yeah, they make that little stat, it's so cool. I love it, I love that little staticky noise they make. Oh, look, see, there he is right there. Oh, I love that static noise when you kill him, too. It's so creepy. Oh, there's another one right there. Get some. All Get some. I love those stat. Those dudes are so... Those are the best ones of, of all the ones that they've created for the new thing. Because the guys, the radio guys with the helmets, the... the heavy gear those guys are cool but come on um, okay let's drone up uh, oh there's a case over here I can grab that I'll bet that you can't I'll bet that there's no way to get this collectible either I'll bet I wonder why that's glitching though. I wonder why that's a thing. Because, yeah, it should show up here. I mean, even if I'm flying it over with the drone, it should show up. Well, I guess. Let me goggles. go. Uh. Uh, where's that case at? Oh, it's over there, isn't it? I think. Yeah, it's over there. Gun switch to night vision. Putting on night vision. Got to take out all the lights. Put my night goggles on. All right, over here, up here. I'm gonna look this one up online as well and see, but I'll bet it's probably glitched as well, which sucks because that means that there's ones that I just will not ever get. I guess. I still want to make a list of all the collectibles though and try to get all of them. Alright, let's do this. Um, if I go to the map, this shows what it's called. Cut. Oh, well, this is the diary as well. Well, after the diary, it says, and then it says after the fall. The other diary is the operation. So, I mean, it looks like. At the uh, diary. What was it called? After the fall? Uh, well, I mean, that could be, but... Um... From what these people are saying, it's glitched. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, I mean, 
if if it was just a matter of restarting the game, I don't think people would all have problems like this. Um, Yeah, this just talks about such as Equipment Depot. I even went back to Story Mode to see if it's kind of a pseudo timeline jump or something. Nothing. They don't even exist in Story Mode. Another said uh, this one's bugged for him as well. Has it been fixed yet? That's from nine days ago. Nope. Hmm. Well, crap. Let's do, uh, let's go back over here. And what we'll do is we'll deselect them and select the next three and see if that does anything. I have a feeling it probably won't though. So we'll take these out and we'll select these. Well, this is, wait a minute. Oops. Says Erwan's current situation. Oh, well, you know what? Let's go to Erwan. Oops, because uh, um, gosh, I don't know if Erwan is even listed like normal in here, because it's. Uh, here? No. Where's everyone at? Um. It's is it this one? No. Where the crap is everyone? Because it's not listed like it normally is here. It's in New Argyll, right? Or is it Mount Hodgson? Uh. I thought this was it right here. Saddle Ridge. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. North Sentinel, like it's right in this area. It's like right in here, I thought. I have to look it up. Uh, ridges. Uh. Well, can somebody put a map that's actually like high resolution? Okay, it's right above the lake. Um, that's interesting. Erewhon should be right here. See the cave side? Oh no, it's right here, duh. Interesting though, it's it's not a uh, it's not a thing. It's not a. That's really interesting. Um, well, the closest I guess is the closest one to go to for it. That's interesting. That's very interesting, isn't it? But that's because. You're in conquest mode, and Erwan is not like the same little secret hideout thing that it normally is, I guess. That's interesting. Oh, halfway. Nice, dude. Where's my...
where's my, uh... I'm looking at my PlayStation.com, I guess. Okay, well, it's not telling me anything. Also, I looked something up on my app, and I'm like, it doesn't, it's not showing me the same way anymore. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, alright. Uh, I don't think I need to deploy the bivouac, but I need to go that way. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will deploy the bivouac, because I'm probably going to need a helicopter. <sighs> the whole left side needs the central. Yeah, it's like, um, once you get to those points, it's it gets a little bit easier. Um, let's do this one. Uh, I don't think I need to... No, I'm good there. I think I can probably sell some stuff, though. Sell those and these. Of course, that still doesn't give me enough for any of the blueprints, but that's all right. I'll get them eventually. And yeah, okay, I'm good there. All right, break. Leave right now, okay. Leave right now. All right, now get to the chopper. It's made it a lot easier to get to Erwan. Rather than trying to drive and climb and all that stuff, just fly straight to it. Right over here. It's interesting that it... Oh, this is the rebel dudes to my left. Interesting. Here's Erwan, but it's not. Interesting that it's not a. It doesn't show up as a uh, thing. As a. Um... Omen, this is Nomad. I tried to get into Erwan, but it's totally sealed off. Are Schultz and the Homesteaders okay? They're alive. They've committed to supporting the outcasts and a new Erwan nation, but otherwise, refused to take up arms for the cause. They've suffered a great deal already. Don't count on them. Erewhon will remain closed until the conflict is over. See? Could use the help, but I understand. I'll keep going on my own. Okay, there's the new bio. There we go. Well, that got one of my one of my deals, right? Oh, and of course it's going to show up at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Probably just what they just told me. Yeah, okay. Well, so there's there's one. That I got that one. That worked. Um oops, back to this one. Uh so let's try we'll do this one. Alright, so now we want in the copper region. Uh Oh, there it is down here. Uh, uh, on Misty Lake in the ancient ruins. That's the sound. That's where's the Misty Lake? Um. Okay, there's Misty Lake. And the ancient ruins. Ruins, not runes. See, this says, well, that says traces of ancient ruins, so that may not be the right one. Oh, here it is. All right, now where's my closest bivouac? Uh, not too far, I guess. Okay. 
Let's see if this one's bugged as well. Hopefully, hopefully not, but honestly, I don't care if it is because it's like, well, I can't get those other ones either. These little sparkling ices are really good. They're 16, 16 ounces. So 500 milliliters, right? Sorry, 502.8 milliliters, but 17 ounces. But they're um, five calories for the whole bottle and no sugar. So, and they're a buck a piece. They're pretty good. I, guess, I don't know if a, about if a buck is a little too much or not. I mean, it's, I mean, you can get a 16 ounce of like regular soda for a buck, right? Doesn't seem like that's too expensive. Uh, let's see now, should we, ah, let's just run it. We don't need no stinking helicopter. Yeah, I try to stick with stuff that's zero sugar or, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, buck fifty. Yeah. Well, if you get it from like a, if it's sixteen ounce bottle and you're getting it from like a vending machine, it's probably like a buck fifty. So I feel like a dollar's not. That's that's fairly reasonable for that. Um. But yeah, I don't do the I don't do diet sodas necessarily, but I do like the zero sugar ones. Like uh, Dr Pepper zero sugar is really good. Um, Ah, uh, come on. Come on. No, no, no. This way. No, 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 no. This way. Come on. You know you can climb. Oh, you jerk. Alright, here we go. Around over this way, I think. Maybe I should have grabbed a helicopter after all. You gotta try to find the spots where you can climb. And I'm just hitting X. Oh, there's a chest over here. Heads up, everybody. Young guests of the party. Shot goes lead. Got him. Told you turn those lights off. Yoink. Open, open, open. And there should be a there it is. Tactical loot. Standard weapon parts, nice. Oh, another light. You know we gotta take that out. Can I shoot that one? Yeah. There we go. Now it's nice and dark. There we go. Activating night vision. All right. I'm going to go try to go back up this mountain again. Here we go. Yeah, I even got some... Uh, I don't like them as much, but I did get some Dr. Pepper uh, uh, Zero Sugar um, Cream Soda. Those aren't bad. Those are pretty good. I usually just get the ones that are cherry or the regular ones. But, uh, I mean, Diet Dr. Pepper, I think, is... For me, it's the best tasting diet, like soda, you know? But this Dr. Pepper Zero really tastes like regular Dr. Pepper. It's fantastic. It's really good. And no sugar, no calories. It's great. Okay, thank goodness we got up here now. And that way, and then over this way. There it is, 190 meters left. And uh, is it over this? Bad guy spotted. Um. Oh, it's right there.
Hmm, okay, well. Switching the night vision. Ooh, that was close. Nice. Perfect. Just saw a Mars gunner. Let's go ahead and load some armor piercing so we don't even have to mess with this heavy. <clears throat> Supposed to be a collectible here. It's in the ancient ruins. I don't see it. Uh, oh, hey, I can put some more water in here. Because it's totally clean. You don't have to worry about this water at all. It's totally fine. Okay. Uh, whale, sir? Usually the new clues. Oh, look, there's another dude over there. Usually the new clues will come up. Uh Hmm. Okay, why'd the music come up right there? There's some dudes down there, but that's Well, maybe it is where I'm supposed to go. Let's go. At the very least, we can help the, the rebel dudes down there. Can we jump? 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 Nope. Uh, this way? Can we jump? Can we jump? Yes! Nice. Oh, there's a collectible too. I see it. Excellent. Everything's clear. Yeah, everything's fine. Totally fine. Keep your eyes open. You never know. Huh? Ooh, stabby stab. Ooh, ouch. Alright, here's the collectible. I wonder if... Uh, you know what? I wonder if those two items for her diary... No, that doesn't even make any sense. I was going to say maybe because I didn't kill her at the end. Because you can do either one for all those different bosses. I thought, well, maybe you can only get her diary if you do kill her, but that doesn't make any sense. And they wouldn't just make it where you can't get a collectible. They wouldn't do it that way. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. At least I got that one. All right, so now I can get this one. Um... Oh, you know what? I saw one of those said in the Lava Ducks guard tower. Mm. Well, you know what? Let's do the, the other one, that new Argyle, Argyle one. Argyle? Whatever. Let's do that one first. So that's going to be here near Mary Falls. Mary Falls. Well, there's Lake Mary. Um, uh, where's Mary Falls? Uh, uh, in scale estate, okay, um,
Well, it wouldn't be here, right? Uh, looking for Mary Falls, Mary Falls. Mm. Oh, there's more camo points there. Uh, more camo points there, too. Lots of ancient ruins, you know? Oh, wait, there's some falls right here, but that's not Mary Falls. That's Raincliff Falls. Uh... Oh, there it is, Mary Falls. Okay, there's Skell Estate. Okay, see that doesn't show that there's one there. There's supposed to be one in the Skell Estate, so that could be messed up too. Uh, okay, there's a the closest deal. I don't know why some of them would be glitched though it seems like you you like most all of them would be glitched or something uh, I'm trying to think of it what else it could be that's causing it but I don't know I mean, I'm not always a super elite, uh, not elitist, completist. Um, but uh, I do kind of want to complete this one. I think I did that in, in uh, Wildlands. I think I, I completed it twice and got everything twice. Okay. It's right over there. Let's go. Oh, and now it's daytime. We can take the turnout off finally. Reloading. Yeah, I don't know. Did I platinum these games? I don't think so. Because I think... See, now I, now I want to look. Um, it should be under PlayStation... If you go to PlayStation.com, right? Uh, like I'm, I, I can never find. Uh, oh, here it is, game library. There it is. Got it. Um, uh, PS4. Uh, well, can you not just show me like my most recent one okay we go breakpoint I've got really I don't want to see the games page I want to see my progression of it uh really can I not how do I see my games it's not and here's game library Oh, is the raid one of them? Ah, shoot. I'm never going to get that one. Uh, yeah, how do I see my game progress? Because I know it's... I know you can go to PlayStation.com, but I can never find the stuff for that. Um, like, when I go to the different... If I click on the different games that I have, like in my library, it just takes me to the game's page. I'm like, well, no, that's not what I want to look at. PSN status, maybe? No, that's not it. Uh, now I can look at my account settings. Uh, I don't know. I know I can look it on here, though. PS app. Breakpoint. Uh, well, no, I don't want to see your deals. 
See, this doesn't show me either. Where's the thing that shows like... Oh, here we go, trophies. Okay. So for breakpoint... No, I don't want to see... Okay, wait, here's... It's showing me all of my... Can you not just show me for breakpoint? Well, okay, there's, this is breakpoint, great, but that's not showing me my trophies for that. So I gotta go to my trophies and then find breakpoint. They don't, I, they really don't have this. Oh, I have 100%. I have 51 earned of 51 available. But you say the raid's one of them. Yeah, I mean, I've got every single trophy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see, it says 51 of 51. So I got all of them. So, I don't know. But I didn't finish the raid. There are ones, uh, you know what, maybe the ones that you're thinking of that are for the raid are just for playing the raid, not completing the raid, maybe. Because I know uh, there were some ones for PvP as well that, you know, obviously you didn't have to complete the PvP, um, but they wanted you to have gone into and did certain things in PvP. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe it was there was something for it. Forgot what. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know. I know that, um, oh, uh, it was another game, I, I forget which one it was now, that had a thing where, um, maybe I'm thinking of Wildlands, the expansions for Wildlands had some stuff on it that I didn't do, I think that's the ones, I think there were some ones on there that I didn't do, but Breakpoint, I think I did all of them. I'm pretty sure scale estate, I'm not gonna find this stupid thing. Should we kill some bad guys just for the heck of it? Just for the heck of it. Target area. Reloading. Yeah, if, if you if you find it, email, let me know. Cause if there's like a trophy left, I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to make sure I get all of them, you know. Sent to you in a group chat, huh? Okay. I don't know, man. Uh, it shows I got all of them though, so. Okay, I've been here before, obviously. There's some chests here, but. I know, I think this is where you and I went all, we went all through this area and didn't find anything else. I'll get a scan for you. This will help. Can I not go over right here? There it goes. Time to switch to night vision. Make sure I don't have any of those other dudes in the area there. Let's grab this chest. I am using my coblin, aren't I? Yeah, okay. Well, like he didn't go down right away, but I guess cuz he was a he's a he's a wolf, that's why. Oh, 
Huh. Maybe they did change it. I don't know. I don't remember any raid trophies, but then again, I didn't do all the raids, so I don't know. I only did the first... It was like the first half. Well, D-Bell, you'd think for you too, though, that they would have had it where, like, your trophies should show as 100% done then, right? Maybe they changed it on yours as well. Maybe, like, check it. Maybe, maybe yours is done as well. That was close. That was close. Aha, stabby stab. You're upset that they took it out. Well, but is it. Does your show is completed, though? Does your show is. Um, like you've completed all of it? Because if so, then. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, where's this other chest? There's one there. There's one down over there. Uh, oh, wait. No, oh, wait. Back down. I love that these guys are hanging out at this estate, even though it's all trashed. Like they're just hanging out. Like it's totally cool. They don't. They don't care that everything's been ransacked and destroyed in here. Um. Well, shoot. How do I get over there? Oh, down here. Duh. only trophy it says is enter the raid. See, maybe that's what it is then, because I certainly have entered the raid, you know? Steady step. Okay, here we go. Now, the chest right over here somewhere. Uh, crap. This gets like a maze in here. It's not over here, and this is a door, but you can't go through that door. Oh, through here, I guess? Oh, I need the thing. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember any trophy for the raid, but I, I never really did the raid, so I can't say. Uh. So, so Dbill, are you done with your trophies then? Do you have all of them? I mean, that'd be cool if you, at least you have all of them now. How do I get to this dang chest? Mm. All right, let me go back up over here then. Ooh, there's like three bad guys here. All is clear on my side. Oh, I thought there was a oh there is a third guy, he's over there. It's behind the helicopter, he didn't hear the gunfire apparently. That's good, at least you got them all though. So that's cool. That would suck if it was glitched where it was like, yeah, no, you still need this other trophy, but it's not available anymore. That would suck. Uh, 
okay, there's downstairs there. Oh, this sucks trying to get to these chests. I don't have to get to them, but I want to. Um... Okay, that one's right there. So I'm gonna go up these stairs. That's right here. Okay, cool, got that one. Couldn't get the Act 3 trophy? Yeah, whenever um, they have little glitches, it's, it's like we were talking about before, those kind of glitches are frustrating. Uh, all right, let me put the drone up and see how I'm gonna get to this stupid chest over here. Because it's there. Hmm. Oh my gosh, on the third one. Jeez Louise, that sucks. So see, I've already been in here. But I can't get to the chest from over here. So it can't be this way. Let's go... Oh, you know what? I think you get it through the pool in the front, right? Isn't that the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. It's down here, I think. No, that's not it. Um, it's something about something over here, right? Uh, here's what I'm wondering though. See that right there? That looks like that's meant to be a bivouac. It looks like maybe I haven't discovered it yet. But certainly I've got all the bit oops, I got all the bivouacs discovered, right? Hang on. I mean it's like way over there. Alright, let me not mess with that right now. I'm trying to get this chest. Um Got Beyond Light for Destiny 2. Oh, nice, dude. Cool. You know, I never could get into the Destiny games. A friend of mine, uh, my friend Richard, is big time into those, and he played 1 and 2. And I have 2. It was like free one weekend, or I forget exactly how I got it. I think it was the PS Plus thing. Yeah, I just never could get into those. I don't know why. They're great games. They look amazing and all of that. I just... I don't know. I just couldn't get into them for some reason. Yeah, that might have been when I got Destiny 2, when it was when they had it for free to play thing or whatever. But yeah, I just never could get into it. I don't know why. Oh, wait a minute, what about these? Oh, wait, hang on. Looks like there's doors right here. They're taking out all the original Destiny 2 stuff, and so I'd say it's not really worth playing much more anymore. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's kind of how they get you or whatever. How do I get to there? You can't get there through here. It's pretty pay to play. It's pretty pay to win now. I stopped playing it for a little while. Yeah, uh, that sucks, dude. Because I've heard a lot of people really love that game.
how can I get down to that area right there? I don't see. And you can't get through it through there. I've already checked through there, and it's not through that area there. There's no place to get to it through here. Yeah. I guess in that way I'm glad I never got into it, because I'd be like, oh man. So here's where the helicopter's at. I've already been that way. Um, how do I get to that chest? What the crap? Seems like somehow it would be through through here. Like there'd be some kind of entrance through here, but I am not seeing it. I guess I never I had to have gotten this chest at some point though, because I would have gotten it with the original uh, the original area. Oops. Wow, I almost died big time there. Um, Barry, you're dead. Jeez. Is this an area I can blow up, maybe? Check friendly fire. No, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, uh, man, I'm so terrible with the parachuting, but uh, every once in a while I'll get lucky on it, and I'm like, oh, sweet, it worked. GTA is another one of those games I couldn't get into. I had it for my PS3. Uh, my boss at the time had given me his copy, and he's like, oh, yeah, here, check it out. I'm like, cool, thanks, man, and uh, I couldn't get into it. I don't know why. I think it was the controls, I just, I don't know, something about the controls I didn't care for. I don't know what the deal was. See, that chest is right there. And it's not this way, you can't, there's no place here to get into it, or get to it from, or whatever. Oops. I've already been down here, and I don't think you can get to it down here anywhere either. Okay, this is making me crazy now. First of all, the profile info is not even here. And I cannot get to this chest. Yeah, man, so many games, it's like... I don't want to play with people unless they're my friends. I, I really don't want to even mess with that. Um, well, it's like we were talking about before how sometimes I get people who want to message me through PlayStation and they go like, oh, hey, let's be friends and hey, let's play and all that. And I'm like, I don't really know you, man. And nothing against those people. I'm sure they're great people, you know, but if I don't know you, I don't necessarily want to play with you, you know. I feel like this chest 
normally is accessible through the regular game, but it's not in conquest mode. Is what I feel like is probably the problem. It's the only thing I can figure. Because there's a thing right there. Like, like there's doors right there. See, it says biometric doors. So I think, normally, this is an area, like there's doors right here. Or maybe over here. Because this, you can't go through. And you also can't go through here. I mean, there's that right there. Oops. But there's no other door right here. I don't know. But the case is like right there on the other side of this wall. Like other side of this right here. But you can't open this. Alright, forget it. Alright, so that one you can't find either. Because it's not even on, it's not on the map. Because it doesn't show as a, um, a collectible thing. So let's go back to Sector 3 again, which is over here. And we're looking for, uh, Lava Ducks Guard Tower. Oh, well now here's Protoshop Workshop. Here we go. Uh, let's find this other one first. So it should be in, in three, right? Which is this top right area here. Uh, yeah, it should be right here somewhere. Lava Ducks Guard Tower. Should be in one of these areas here. Should be up here in the top right, because these are all lava duct stuff, right? Um Where is Lava Duct Guard Tower? Well, I mean, there's that one there that's supposed to have her diary. But I'll bet it doesn't. I think I might just skip it because I don't, I'm sure it's not going to be there. I think I might just skip it. Forget it. I'm just going to skip it. In fact, let's go to this. Let's deselect these collectibles deals. Uh, I did pick up another one though, so that's good. This one uh, here. Um, and these, unfortunately, these don't show you which ones you don't have. So I'd have to find a thing that lists. I wonder if there's a way, uh, breakpoint, world, lore, list. Oh, look at that, there is a list. All world, lore, uh,
No, don't try to tell me that I need some features. Don't give me that. Okay, here we go. Uh, all collectibles. Yeah, they try to say, yeah, you need to update your browser to support these. You're like, no. Oh, wait, actually, you just do continue without. Okay, I guess that's cool. Okay. Um, so the problem is with this... Uh, hmm. I doubt this is updated because it doesn't have what's her face's uh, diary. If I just do fine for diary, it has Herzog's library, but not this other lady, so that doesn't even list it. Problem is, under world lore, it wants to put them in alphabetical order. And I'm like, well, that's great, but these aren't in alphabetical order so I wonder if I could just maybe select them oh, this might work hang on copy I'm gonna move up numbers uh, do I not have numbers here I don't think Applications, numbers, open, uh, continue, cancel, new, blank, paste. All right, so so let's do this. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here like, uh, where is delete row? There we go. Select selected rows. Okay. Um, so I guess I can do this. Um, oh God, this is gonna take a minute though. Dang it. Delete. Cause it wants to put like a A, B, and C and all that. And I'm like, just list them, dude. I just need them to be listed. Here, let me do this. Okay, volcanic eruption. So I can just delete. Kings of the forest. Delete. Captain Cook. Delete. Traders and adventurers. Delete. La, la something something. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. Oh, see, it doesn't even list it unless it's under the. Of course, it's under the, okay. The Whalers, also under the Aurora Company, or Aurora Company, okay. The Gold Rush, gonna be under the, of course. There we go. Uh, depleted Veins, uh, okay. World War II, got it. Uh, Cold War, got it. 99 year lease, got it. Resident Exode. Oops, uh, Resident Exode. Nuclear weapons. The nuclear vessels. Uh, Operation Harpoon. Bases closure. Archipelago for sale. Construction begins. Uh, scale sellers, scales or settlers rather. Production begins. Got it. Sentinel core contract. Construction begins. I already got that one. Oh, sorry. Operation Citadel. Operation Citadel. Stolas. Legion. Uh. Incubus, Andres, uh, Murmur, Aim, Azrael, Behemoth, 
Oops. Azrael, Behemoth, City, Cherubim, uh, Scale Farmer, World War II. Got it. Okay. Getting down to the last of them now. Um, Sky, whatever, Cherubim, Dilly thing, Malthus. Succubus. Okay, and then Ball. Uh, that's interesting. It's not listed on this list. Let's see. Let me select all these rows and delete them. Delete. That's interesting. Okay, ball is not even listed here, so let's just list it. Gargoyle. Oh, that's probably because those are um, those might be raid items. Still, you'd think it would, it should be listed, right? Scale excavator, excavator, uh, tree mower, handy carrier, uh, transporter. Doctor, Fielder, Amon, and Scale Quantum, blah, 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 blah. So it's not even, well, that didn't do me damn bit of good, did it? This website does not include all of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it'd be nice if somebody just had like a list of all of them. This one says collectibles map. Uh, well, yeah, this is not really that helpful. I mean, I guess this is kind of helpful, but this is doing it section by section, and, and that's not really helpful. Here's an interactive map, supposedly. Let's see if that's... Mm, here we go, world lores. Uh, ooh, hey, this might actually work. All right, here, let's look at layers. Oh, well, let me let's do world lores. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, here we go. Let's deselect everything. Ooh, there's still clues everywhere, too. Okay, world lores. Okay, here we go. Uh, but the problem is it doesn't list them the same. Like this just shows, okay, here's Captain Cook, here's Volcanic Eruption. Uh, that doesn't really help because I think I have Volcanic Eruption. Maybe, yeah, it's right there. Uh, Faces Closure, that was one. Actually, wait, do I still have it? in my ah I do okay uh, let's see okay uh, so start in the top right we got Captain Cook got it volcanic eruption got it oops got it oops Got it. Oh, that's kind of interesting. This, when you click on the thing, it does actually take you to the thing. Base closure, I know I got that one. Operation Citadel, Succubus, Excavator, Doctor, Aim, Amon. I only need one more world lore. And it's like, well, which one do I not have? Scale Handy, is that one? Yeah, that's one. Uh, Malthus, that's one. Scale Carrier, yeah. Incubus, the Whalers, uh, Behemoth, we have Behemoth. Transporter, Gold Rush, Depleted Veins, Nuclear Weapons, Archipelago for Sale, Address, Amon, Succubus, Destruction Begins, the one French one I can't pronounce, Azrael, City, 
Resident Exo, did I have that one? Yeah. Let's go Fielder, Farmer, Legion. That sounds... I think I have that one. I was going to say, that sounds like one I didn't get, maybe? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, there it is right there. Dang. I thought I was like, ooh, there's one I didn't get. Stolas. Stolas. World War II. Scale Tree Mover or Mower. Scale Settlers. Sentinel Core Contract. World War II Hall of Fame. Sky Cherubim Thingy. Murmur. Operation Harpoon. That's it. The other one must be on Gollum Island, I guess. Like the 48th one? Um, it's interesting, though, because this shows it here. Hmm. But like stashes, I, you know, there's no way of knowing how, if I have all of those either. <sighs> yeah, and this, this interactive map is great, but unfortunately it's not, it's from two years ago. Jesus Christ, no wonder I can't, like it's not going to have everything. Uh, mm, yeah, this is not... It helps, you know. It helps, but unfortunately, um, it's old. It's an old map. Uh, oh, now this shows all 52 collectible stashes. Well, see, there's 58. There's not 52, so that doesn't help me. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I feel like there's probably not a way to find all of them. Doesn't seem like it anyway. Well, you know what? We'll do this then. We'll just go and we'll attack some uh, some behemoths and we'll get uh, the points from the behemoths. We'll do that. Now I gotta try to remember where are the behemoths at? Because there's like nine or ten locations I think. I think there's one over here. Uh... That's murmurs. Okay. Uh, there we go. There's behemoth. All right. Uh, I guess this is the closest. I'm going to get to it. All right. So now the behemoths can be very challenging. Now, the thing is, I don't have to destroy the behemoth to grab the points. But I can do to, to I can destroy them which would help quite a bit with um XP so I may go ahead and try to destroy them I don't I'm not sure how much XP they give but uh, I'm thinking probably a pretty good amount is what I'm thinking so we shall see hmm and the behemoth Best thing I use on it is rocket launchers, Zestava, Coblin, and grenades. So there it is over there. Oops, still a pretty good ways away, actually. Um, really? <laughs> Seriously? I hit the button. <sighs> I sometimes really, really, really hate parachuting. Now I gotta wait for my teammates to come over here. I don't know if they're gonna be able to get to me or not. Two of them just ran past. There goes a third one. Uh, can I get back up around? I, that should have worked just fine parachuting right there. Oh, there we go. 
Thank you, my teammate. Now let's see if we can get the heck back up there. All better. All clear, boss. Can we get back up there? Uh, quite possibly not. Ooh, that worked. There we go. So when you pull back on the stick, oh jeez, it does slow you down, but that's okay. Ooh, look, there's there that thing went off. All right. Thing is, I need to probably take out like three or four behemoths if I want. Well, I mean, I don't have like I say, I don't have to take them out, but if I want the XP, I need like three locations from which to get the uh, points and stuff. Oh, and also I better go ahead and swap out this. Um, let's put uh, EMP grenade. I think that's all we really need. Oh, and then let's switch to the Sestava from this. Sestava, where is that? I could use um, grenade launcher as well. I don't know if that would work that well against it though. There he is, right there. Slow down. We got bad guys. We got three more. I'm almost out of power on my thing here, too. Incoming motors. Call that drone's out. Oh, we got him. Wow. Okay. Well, that definitely gave us some XP. It gave us some items. Excellent. Let's go and grab whatever else he might have dropped here. Some ammo. Nice. Okay, great. That didn't do too badly at all, did it? All right. Now let's grab the camo points. And we do have the XP bonus, so that's good. Yeah, here we go. It's a thousand. I still need like 3,000 total, I think. Uh, well, take me to my deal. Hang on. Oh, no, I have 3,100. I think, yeah, no, I still need, I, I basically need, I need to take out two more drones, two more uh, deals. So that's fine. That's cool. That'll give me some XP as well. All right, so there's that one. Uh, that's the baby behemoth. Murmurs. Um, uh, 
I'm looking for that specific symbol. Because th that's for the Amons, right? Or however you say that. Murmurs. Uh, is that the one for Be No, that's not Behemoth. Oh, there we go, Behemoth. Okay. Uh, we'll go here. All right, here we go. That actually worked really, really well. Soften him up with grenades. Well, not grenades, but um, rocket launchers. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, um, go to the... Uh, deal my camera likes to see motion but really all it is is neighbors uh, driving around okay uh, let's go ahead and deploy and we'll sell some weapons and buy some supplies. I don't know. I don't think I can, I probably can't redo, I can't make the supplies from this other thing. Uh, oh, I can that one. Okay, cool. Grenades, I think. Well, I have enough for the old shell anyway. This I know I don't have. Yeah, I've only got. I can only make one, so no reason to even mess with that. So let's go to the shop and two, three, four, five, six, and let's go here. Sell all the weapons I don't want. Boom. Sell all the equipment I don't want. Boom. And that does not give me enough to get any of these weapons yet, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and leave. And leave right now. Okay. So this behemoth should be about the same, uh, like, difficulty. wonder if I can uh, hit him with a... Uh, with this thing, the uh, strike designator. I wonder if I can hit him once with that. Then hit him with rocket launcher and then go invisible and so on, you know? Ooh, that was close. I almost missed him. I mean, I did miss him, but... Uh, looks like there's a case over here. Yeah, why not? It's on my way. It's not It's not a unique plunder, as it were, right? But... Whoa, we're clear. Sometimes I'll go ahead and grab them. I love this, like, apartment thing here. But it's always trashed. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Uh, can I not jump over here? I guess I cannot. All right. Fine. Fine. Uh, I guess I gotta go back down this way. Like this would be a cool like apartment thing. I don't know how this area would work as like a living room. I don't know how that would work. But so many of these like apartments and stuff th through this game are like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. We should be able to hear the behemoth in a moment. But this cobbling weapon really does some damage to him. You just want to make sure to use the extended mag if you don't have it. Get it, because uh, less time between... Uh, Reload is is better. 
Oh, jeez, he's right here. Okay, he knows something's up, so I wonder if I can hit with the strike designator. Oh, I can, but he moved. Right where it hurts. Two clips. That was it. Well, and some rockets, of course. But yeah. Twenty-five hundred credits. Uh, how much XP did I get? It doesn't say, does it? If, if it did, I missed it. All right. Now let's go and grab these things here. Oops. Messed it up. Oh, right. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. So now we just need another thousand, I think. Grab these things if we need them. No, we do not. Okay, now we're gonna go on to another bivouac. Um, yes, yeah, so, so we're the symbol we're looking for is this one. So it's like a upside down triangle with little wings on the side. Um, it's not gonna be any of them in here in that middle area. They're going to be along the edge, I think, if I recall. Because I have destroyed all of them, like, in in the in, in playing the game before, I took out all the behemoths already. <laughs> um, obviously, they respawn, but, you know. Um, I know there was one up at the north area, too, somewhere, but I don't remember where. Uh, there we go. I don't think that's... No, that's not the one I've killed yet, so let's go to this one. Alright, here we go. Alright. I think this will be the last one I have to take out, I think. But we got a bivouac again so we can resupply the rocket launchers. It's crazy that that works really well to just like, if I can hit him with the, uh, the deal, the, the, um, whatchamacallit, the overhead strike thing, that'll work, that'll hit him That'll, that'll bring him down pretty well and then hit him with rockets and then uh, just take him out with a cobbling uh, and an EMP grenade that helps okay then go to the shop uh, I don't think I picked up any weapons oh I did I picked up those Let's go over here. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Um, still not, still not enough for any of these. I think the one I want next is. I think I might get that DMR, only because that way I can go. Okay, now all I have left is the assault rifles to get, and actually. 
I've already got an AK-47. I think I've already got an ACR. Well, yeah, I've got the ACR Brown. Um, and the Resistance one, I have that one as well. That's just the shorty version. So the M110, I don't think I have one of those at all. Uh, I don't see one here. Yeah, I don't have an M110, so that's the one. I'll, I'll get that one next, I think. Okay. Leave right now. All right, here we go. Now, he's right over there. Now you would think, well, hey, why not get like a really cool armored vehicle that's got like guns on it and attack him that way? Sure, you could do that. But he's going to destroy your vehicle before you can do any real damage with whatever armaments you have. He's going to destroy your vehicle before that. Uh, he should be right here. Oh, it's further up. Never mind. I was sitting here thinking like, wait a minute, I'm right on him. Where is he at? But never mind. I was thinking like, he was going to be right right there. But no, no, it's a little bit further. Got a little clubhouse right there. Okay, now we should be able to start hearing him in a minute. Yep, hear him already. Thing is, what's crazy is that... Oh, shoot. Am I stuck? Okay, good. I'm not. What's crazy is if you're running... If you're running after him, he'll hear you. He'll hear you. Oh, great. Auto turret. That means I gotta take that turret out first. No big deal. It's just something else in the way. See, he moved. There's really no place to get closer to him either. A uh, little bit of an area right here to kind of hide out in a bit. Oh, yeah, no, we do need to hide out, don't we? There's a rock over there. Maybe I can get behind that. Oh, here we go. No, that's not what I wanted to do. God dang it. I hit him with the, with the thing. Oh, 
Oh, don't get near that. Ooh, leveled up. Nice. Level 47. You. Yeah. Boom. 2,500 credits. Bunch of metal parts, which is always good. My gosh, you can go through so many metal parts in this game. It's crazy. Reload. Grab whatever crap else he had on him. Uh, now let's go get this. Yeah, I didn't have to take him out, but it's like, well, you get some really good XP from taking out behemoths, so why not? All right, here we go, baby. All right, there we go for 800. Boom. Now I can take damage without the camo to shutting down. So my camo is completely maxed out, which is awesome. Um, and I still have 300 points left, so that's kind of cool. Um, oh, and I do have, since I leveled, I also have, uh, this is all full, so we're good to go there. Oh, I only have nine. It's not really enough to do too much with, but... I, I mean, it's one of those things that eventually I'd love to fill up all of these, but I don't think you can. Because, um, I mean, each one is like five, and then the next level is like 10, and then 20, and 30, and all that. And it's like, you only get five skill points per level. So you go like, well, I've got like... I, I, like, I probably have enough to level up two of these maybe that's gonna be about it which is i guess that's fine because it's like lmg shotguns and smgs don't care it probably only actually probably only the sniper assault and maybe dmr handgun i don't really care about either so i don't know whatever um okay so I think that's it. I think we can we can exit back out of uh, conquest mode. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and get back out of it. Um, yeah. So now, how do I? Oh, story. And yes, confirm. There we go. So now we'll just go regular story mode, which it doesn't really matter. Um, actually, story mode's probably better because, well, like Erewhon is closed off unless you're in story mode. Not that I really care, but you know, uh, that's a that's a thing. God, Dunaway's still playing this game. I was really interested in seeing where Iron Fist goes because I thought it was, what I played was pretty fun. It, he must really like it. It's cool. Okay. It's so weird that it's like, today is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and Today is only Friday, so I still have two more days off, but it feels like my days off are done. Like, Thanksgiving's over, we're done with having time off, you know, that's it. But I actually have two more days off. And which is just weird. Then we have a uh, Christmas break as well. Uh, so that's that's gonna be two whole weeks off. Actually it's gonna be a day plus two weeks. I don't know why they I don't know how or why it ended up that way, but it's cool with me. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause with my job, it's hard for me to take vacation. And it's going to be even harder probably by the new year because um, I'm not going to have um, a readily available backup person. Um, so that's going to be a little more difficult to take time. 
Uh, so for me, the best time off that I have is when everyone else has time off. Because that means I can, t I can have time off and not have to worry about somebody. Yeah, like I don't have to, I don't have to check my email and respond to emails or anything like that. I don't have to do any of that mess. So that's helpful. All right, let's uh, break camp. Leave right now. And I guess we'll do some uh, faction missions for now. Because I usually stream for four hours at, or somewhere around there. And I'm like, well, it's like two and a half hours. Um... You know, I was thinking too, I wouldn't mind doing some of these ones where there's items that I haven't gotten yet. The unique plunders, you know? Because um, there's some areas here where you go like, oh yeah, it, it still shows. Now, I, I don't have to get the unique plunders because it's stuff that I already have. Like, you know, it's not like it's uh, a new, like that nomad hat. I've already got the nomad hat. But you're like, well, yeah, but that'll be there. So I'm like, you know, I kind of want to get that in a way. But mm, it's not really that important. Let's do, uh, let's do that one. That one. And do that one. So the closest bivouac is going to be this one. All right, here we go. <sighs> Biva wacky. Cheap charts, five new price drops. That'll be another fun thing that I'll do this, that I'm looking forward to for Christmas. I like making my poor man's turtles. Um, so you guys know what turtles are, the, the chocolate and uh, pecan and caramel thing, right? Well, I make a poor man's version of that. I can't remember where I got the recipe from, but it's really easy. You take, a, you take one of those... Um, uh, Rolos candies they're like chocolate and caramel take one of those well take a bunch of them and you un un unwrap them and everything put them on a pan and cook them in the oven for like I think maybe two minutes on 250 right like you just want to make them nice and soft and then you take a salted uh, a salted uh, pretzel and push onto it and then put a pecan on top of it like you put all that like punch it into the meltedness of it you know whatever and it tastes just like a regular turtle and it's just fantastic uh it takes a bit to make them because you have to unwrap all those caramels but uh man they're they're fantastic and i have uh members of my family who will go hey you making your turtles again and i'm like uh yeah i can if you want sure i'm like yeah sure why not Yoink, yoink. I like this view, but I also like just that view. Oh, and I should probably change this back to the regular grenade. Because an EMP grenade will not do anything against human opponents. So, kind of don't want to use those against human opponents if you can help it. Sometimes I really do want to uh, play my PC version of this game, but my PC character is not as leveled up. I wish they would let you like import your character from the other game, you know? It'd be kind of cool. You know, go ahead and get down. PlayStation has the Black Friday sale thing going on, which is great, but 
Unfortunately, I, I don't see anything that I really want. Like, that guy spotted. Back for Blood, I'd love to get that, but it's still $42. It's not that much cheaper right now. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, honestly, I don't care. Got a um, the Spider-Man game, that looks pretty cool, but I don't really care. Um, all the Call of Duty stuff, I just don't care. Diablo 2 Remastered, I played the demo of it, and it's great, but it's basically Diablo 2. It's the same game. It's just It looks a lot better, and it's great, but I'd rather play it on a computer than on a console. Um, Last of Us Part 2, I never finished Last of Us 1. Uh, and I liked it, but I'm like, I don't, don't really care. Uh, Cyberpunk, I already have. Um, Life is Strange, never got into any of those games. Fortnite, don't care. Overwatch, I have, but I don't play it. Um, Mass Effect, I never got into those. I mean, it's just none, none, no games that I really care about. I need an enemy Not in a bad way, I just don't really care. Um, and like I say, for me, I, uh, Enemy position marked. I got plenty of games to play right now as it is. I don't really need more games right now. I got so many already that I want to play. Ooh, gold item. Ooh, cool. Uh, an SMR. SMR. Now, what am I supposed to be doing here? I forget. Uh, is it? Oh, it's locate the truck, I think. Yeah, I think it's locate the truck. It's probably... Well, there's there's info I gotta get, so that's that's part of the mission. Oh, these have info as well. Okay. Uh, so let's change out this uh, for some C4. Reloading. So here's my thing. I want to plant charges on all the entrances. So that way they don't know which place I'm, they don't know where I'm coming in at. Because they don't see me at all. Uh, unless they heard explosions, which even then they don't see you. Uh, oh yeah, no, this is it, here we go. There we go. And I think... You know, I kind of want them to call in reinforcements. Oops, I hurt myself. Mind for them to call reinforcements, so honestly. Here's 
free to have it right now. Got him. See, I kind of want them to have reinforcements because that way I can get some more XP. Okay, uh, 1.4 kilometers, 1.6, 2.2. So I guess we're going to this one first. Reloading. Pineapple. Man, I love pineapple. It's like one of my favorite things. It's it kind of speaks to oops it kind of speaks to how I like uh, salty stuff but I also like sugary stuff and pineapple is sweet but I put salt on it like I don't know if you guys do that but like with watermelon and stuff it's the same thing you put salt on it and it, that makes it like yeah 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 that's what you want um, like it's kind of like if you have uh, salt. And chocolate together. That's why I like turtles are so good because the salt from the pretzel and the chocolate like makes it taste so much better. I heard it explained one time like something about the salt opens up your your salivary glands and like that helps to receive the chocolate flavor more. I don't know, something like that. It was something weird. Job for trains. I need to try to find a car this time. Or when I get here, I want to try to find a car. More pineapple. And... I will drink water now. There we go. Switch back to that. Now that I'm hydrated. Oh, we got bad guys right here. I'm in the middle of it. Just wait. Wait, what? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to, like, kill the dude. I didn't mean to, like... I was going to try to grab him or something, too, but never mind. Anyway, alright. I got this way. Reloading. So now I'm meant to find the truck, right? It's probably right there, right across the way. Yeah, it's probably that right there. Let me drone up. Am I supposed to steal it or destroy it? Uh, destroy. Okay. Ooh, that means I can do this. Uh. Oh crap! We got a drone overhead. Get down, pro camo. Or as I like to call it, pro camel. Because it's exactly what it sounds like. It does not sound like pro a prone camo. It sounds like pro camel. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. That did take out the uh, baby behemoth. I didn't know if it would. Wait for the truck to have the secondary explosion, though. Hang on. Because it'll it'll do that fiery thing, and then it'll actually explode. There it goes. Neighbor again. Just double check. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, 
I love my cameras, my little wise cameras. I'm telling you, if you guys are in the market for like security cameras and you're not sure which one to get and you know which one's the best and what are the rates and all that kind of stuff, check out Wise because they don't cost anything per month. They just they just cost like twenty five to thirty bucks depending on which one you get. Um, here I'll, I'll put the uh, put the URL in the chat. Um, oh yeah, they have Black Friday. Oh, okay, yeah. So the Wise Cam version three, which I think I have, I think I have version two on all of mine. But that one, um, for just the camera itself, it's thirty four dollars. 34 bucks and as I recall this one is it can go indoor and outdoor I think this one is corded because they do have one that's that's wireless and I have one of those as well and that one works really really well too um, yeah here we go so if you go look for cameras so they have a floodlight with a camera a lamp socket, I guess, with a camera. The doorbell, which I have the doorbell one. And this is the pro version. They have a regular version and then a pro version. I have just the regular one and it works great. They have the pan one, the one that like pans back and forth, left and right. And then the inside of it can go up and down as well. I have that one in my backyard. So I have, I have one in my front kitchen area. I have one in my living room. I have one right here in the corner, like right up here in the corner that you can't see. Um, those are three of the same types and then I have the wireless one in the garage area I have the doorbell I think it's just those five yeah I think oh no uh, yeah I yeah, know those those five those five that's it yeah um, oh you even can do a, a spotlight wise cam thing that's pretty cool then they have home monitoring they have uh, switches like light switches I assume that's what that is they have light strips. Oh, I didn't know they had light strips. That's cool. They have vacuums. They have the robot vacuum thing that goes along your deal. They have a car. I think I did see that one, which is cool, but I'm like, I, I don't know why. I don't know if it, I guess it has a camera on it. Oh, it's 60 bucks. Look at that. So I guess it, uh, it connects to the phone's Wi-Fi, to your phone's Wi-Fi. LED headlight, battery, mobile app, remote control. Uh, says we've enlisted our top engineers to discreetly hide wise cars remote directly in a classified app on your phone. You can live stream your mission through your phone while completing your mission objectives from a safe distance away from the action. It goes without saying, but we absolutely cannot have another cover blown like the Jimmy like the Jimmy from Wise incident last year, when the joystick fell, joystick fell from his pocket during cocktail hour. Uh, it says record, capture, and save video of your mission for debriefing. Retrieve. Okay, they're being funny, but uh, uh, yeah. So it's like a little car with a camera on it, basically. Uh. And it's got a 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank. Uh, all wheel drive. That's really cute and 60 bucks. That's actually, that actually would be a fun little Christmas present. Um, oh, it doesn't come with the camera though. It says compatible with any wise cam version two required. So it's sold separately. So yeah, that's not so great actually still cool but um, and then I have a thermostat with them and then I have their plug a little two pack of plugs so that way I can have my coffee maker come on automatically and stuff it's great great products uh, let's put that one there too we'll go to that one next but yeah I, 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 I the thing that's great about the cameras is well like for a version 2 uh, Let me see. Hang on. Um, actually, hang on. They have uh, Black Friday deals. 
the watch, which is what I'm wearing here, the version two that they have, I think it's version two, is only 30 bucks. Uh, where is their... Uh, Is it under smart cameras, I guess? Yeah, okay, here we go. So, oh, they don't have the version two camera, I guess. Anyway, but it's like 30 bucks and that's it. You don't have to pay anything extra for it. Really? Can I not do this while I'm invisible? I can't do this while I'm invisible. That's interesting. Can I do this while I'm invisible? Yes, because I did before. Really? That didn't kill him? That's amazing. Wow, I keep having my neighbors taken off. Alright, let's go and grab this. Now I gotta wait for my thing to charge back. Oh, but look how quick it, it does. Oh wow, look how fast. I didn't realize it charged so quick. That's awesome. Look at that, it's already, and back to 100%. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go to this one. Reloading. Okay, and this one is locate the truck. It's so funny how it says search, and it's like, well, the truck's right there. So I gotta steal this truck. Ooh, okay. There's a bunch of bad guys. Jeez Louise. Stay vigilant. Many hostiles in this camp. Stay vigilant, yeah, no kidding. Oh man, I didn't realize I didn't see these guys over here. Freaking shotgun dudes, man. I hate those guys. They're such jerks. But they're the worst. You only need like two bad guys or two shit two hits to hit you. Two shots to hit you is what I was saying. It only takes like two shots and you're done you're down. Healing. Nice going. Who is hitting me? <sighs> Crap. I don't think there's. I wonder if the invisible dudes are on the regular levels here as well. I don't know. right here. Yoink. There are no more bad guys. Took them out. Dude, there's two more cases here. Uh, let's see. If they're if they're somewhat easy to get to, I'll go ahead and grab them. This one's right up here. Oops. And I get that gold item too. Uh, oh, it's right here. 
I was like, where'd that case go? Okay, and the other case is there. Uh, can't go downstairs, can I? Crap. Nope, can't shoot the glass. Shoot the glass. Uh, through here? Uh, oh, there it is. So easy to get turned around, at least for me. I don't think I have that bad of a sense of direction, but maybe I do. I'd like to think I don't, but maybe I do. Alright, so now we're going to steal the truck and go somewhere with it. Excuse me, dude, I'm taking this truck. Oh, hang on. I forgot the gold item. Gotta get that, man. Come on. M9. Take the right. I'll find my own. Okay. Now we're going over right there. Actually, I might have to just go right straight to it, maybe. We don't want the truck to crash, but it should be okay. Oops. Maybe not. Thought that tree would not get in the way. Oh my gosh, this thing. Horrible turning radius. Holy crap. Alright, now. Again, uh, you can drive on the train tracks and it's fine, but don't stay on them. Because you never know when a train will come and it will kill you. There is no... It, it, trains in this game are like trains in real life. If you just stay off the tracks, you'll be fine. Just don't get on the tracks. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you get on the tracks, then you might die. Oops, can't drive through trees. Can I come over this way? It's so funny, I'll see these videos of people who... I don't know what they're thinking. But they're trying to beat the train. I guess they're in a hurry. I, I don't know, but it's like... Clear the train is right there. Why are you... Why are you purposefully getting on the tracks? The train can't swerve to miss you. You know? And so, therefore, as long as you're off the track, you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. But yeah, I'll see these videos where people are like... I, don't, I honestly don't know what they're thinking. It's crazy. Alright, got that one done. And there's always a shack when you drop off a vehicle. And there's always a chest. Ooh, TAC-50. It's blue, though, so it's not great. Okay, um... Enemy you know what? Down. It's 1.9 meters that way. But there's a motorcycle right here. Greg, what's going on, man? Is there a raid coming? Oh my gosh, Brian Dunaway. Dude, Dunaway, how much is how great is that game that you were playing? Uh oh, wait a minute. Watch out. Oh my gosh, here comes everybody. Uh Yeah, I was noticing, I was like, man, Brian's playing that game for a long time. He must really like it. I guess we'll find out on Boop come Monday. You go, I'll catch up. We have my our electric motorcycle here. That's why it doesn't make any noise. It's also super fast. Ooh, bad guys. Hit one of them. Going this way. Tom Degosa! Or as Brian, or, uh, Scott likes to call you, Tom Degosa. It was very relaxed. It looked very um, kind of chill, but um, like challenging at the same time. It looked pretty cool. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! 
<laughs> Oops. Uh, how much further is it? Uh, okay, well, it's... This motorcycle, it's fine. Really, it's fine. Don't worry about the smoke. It's fine. Oh, that was great. Usually those kind of jumps is what you have, but that was great. Oop. Ooh, hey, water da oh, no, water damage didn't do well. Oh, that drone's flying. I got one there. Really? You guys are going to shoot at me? Come on. Ah. Oh, I forgot I'm using the Sistava. The Sistava does not have... Does not have a, um... Hang on, I gotta switch weapons. Grenade time. Nice going. There we go. Could have used the help. All right, there we go. Yeah, that bike was very much toast. Oh my gosh! And all these other. Oh wait, I forgot. I was gonna switch weapons. Hang on. This Zestava is great. It ignores enemy armor and it's fantastic. But there is no, as you can see, you can change out the scope. But that's it, and it does not have what we call a suppressor. Therefore, when bullets come out this end, it's really, really, really loud. Which is fine, but if you don't want the enemy to hear you, then you might want to get something a little bit quieter, which I use my TAC-50 Brown, this one right here. So this one, you can see, does have a nice, pretty suppressor on the front of it, so it is nice and quiet. All right. And okay, we're good now. Okay, this way. Uh, actually, there's a car right here. Let's grab this truck. Oh, wait, got bad guys. I don't know why they're facing the wrong way, though. Oops. There's another bad guy right here. Got him. Ooh, he dropped money. Yoink. Alright, I'm gonna go back this way. I'm gonna grab this case. Your case is my, or no, your face is my case. Okay, and then we're gonna grab this truck because we like trucks. We are in Texas, of course, so. And my teammates will, oops, will jump in after. It's fine. These are my AI teammates. You can actually have. Human teammates, of course, but uh, I don't have anybody uh, playing with me right now. Okay, this one. I forget what I'm doing here. What, what is the mission here? I forget. Okay, locate the truck. Okay, so we're going to do drone up. Nice little drone here. We're going to search. Oh, there it is right there. We're stealing that truck. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of bad guys in between. But let's do sync shots. So we're gonna have my, my teammates are gonna fire on those guys. Uh, let's take this guy out as well. Watch, 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 watch. Boom! They took out all three at once. Now, if I was if I had a beat on a guy myself, it would have been four at one time. Uh, is this an entrance right here? Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. I feel bad when these, the, the, like, um, civilians are, like, all cowering and scared. I feel bad for them. I feel like I don't want them to be scared. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Let me get in position. Enemy is alert. Stay quiet. It's well. Oh, I missed him. Can I shoot him through that? Nope. Reloading. Oh, my niece's son is online. Oh, there's a. See that dude over there where it looks like a 
That right there. Got him. That's a um. Done away. That's one of the uh, mortar launcher dudes, and if you shoot him in the backpack, he'll he'll explode, which is really fun. But it's also not fun sometimes if you want to stay quiet because then they'll they'll hear you. Done away. This is the game that I'm always trying to get Scott to play with me, but he won't or can't because he has it on PC and I have it on my, uh, PS4. Although I do have it on PS4 now. All right, we're gonna take the truck. All right, let's go, 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 go. Turn, turn. No, nope. oh, watch out for the thing. Watch out for the thing. Oh, that was close. Go, 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 go. Hang on. Uh, oh crap, we got to turn. Okay, wait. Uh, I'm doing this like I can see over the buildings. Okay, here we go, we're out. We're out, we're out. Okay, here we go. Okay, hang on, let's go this. Uh, five seconds after I ended the stream, the game ended? Wait. Your game ended? But you were five seconds or five minutes away from the end. So did you finish it or no? You always jump back on the stream, I guess, right? That sucks. Uh, let's see, they turn left. Watch out for trees, watch out for big rocks. Okay, here we're taking the truck right here. And... Hey, er. no, no, please. There we go. I know we're sure it was good because I didn't give away the ending. Ah, oh, okay, that's that's cool then. Hey, monkey bananas! How was the game, by the way? I was sitting there going like, man, Dunaway's been playing that for a while now. He must really, really like it. it must be a really good game. And I said, well, I guess we'll find out on Boop on Monday. <laughs> hey, it's Monkey Bananas. All right. So that, now I gotta go over there. Yeah, I was watching part of it and uh, it, it's very pretty. It's very, um. It reminds me of, what was that one game that was like, uh, it was the same kind of perspective of behind the ship that you're flying. It was, um, what was it, Race to race to Dawn or something like that? That one where, you, I think it was an iOS game. And you had to like race, race till dawn? Something about you had a time limit and you had to like race till dawn. I can't remember what the deal was with it now. I think it was an iOS game though. Uh, shoot, I don't have any, I don't have a close place I can go for this. I guess I'll just go here. Flower, that might be what it was called. Flower, game, uh, no, but that's kind of similar. It was called, uh, Race to Dawn Game? No. Uh... What was it called? I think it was an iOS game and it was like your ship kind of looked like a bird and you were flying away from camera or away from viewer like it was like kind of third person or whatever. Um, anyway, that's that's what that game that you were playing kind of reminded me of. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and deploy Bivouac here. That's not kind of what it reminded me of though. But very pretty game. Very cool sci-fi looking is what it looked like to me. Okay, let's make some syringes so we can heal. Six, and we are not gonna have enough. Uh, actually, we might have enough stuff for this. It was addicting, nice. Well, clearly you were playing for like two hours, I think, something like that. That's amazing. Especially for a little indie game. It was like, I think it's on sale for 16 bucks, I think it was, on Steam. Three and a half hours, nice. Flappy Bird. Yeah, that's that's what the game was called that I'm thinking of. Flappy Bird. Oh, you had it on Game Pass. Dude, I tried Game Pass because I got Game Pass with... By the way, if you don't have one of these done away, you should get one. Because uh, Scott and Brian both have one. Ibit, that is. One of these. A little backbone. 
So with Backbone, it came with a free month of Game Pass. So I don't have a PC and I don't have uh, Xbox, but I have my M1 iMac. So that, well, I can play Xbox games on the uh, either GeForce Now or the Game Pass. What do you call it? Um, Xbox Stream. What is it called? Xbox. I, I still have it on my phone. Um, the cloud gaming thing, right? And I was like, oh, this would be great. I'm going to try this out. Uh, but, dude, the problem is... Um, oh, that's right. Scott did say you had the Razer kit. The problem is, when I was trying to play uh, Forza Horizon 4, because 5 wasn't out yet, uh, I tried playing 4, and I was able to connect my other PS4 controller remotely to my, my M1 iMac. Um, worked great, but it's laggy. Um, so I could play it with this without any lag, but the screen's so small that you really can't play Forza very well. Even if you stream it to your iMac, it's still, it's slow. Even if you stream it to your Apple TV, which is, this TV is connected to, or has connected to it, um, it was still laggy. So I couldn't play it. And I'd even tried other games. I thought, well, let me try, like, Skyrim and see what see how that plays. And it was the same kind of laggy. Um, so, l long story short, I didn't keep Game Pass. I wanted to, though. But, um, yeah, it was just, uh, it was kind of laggy. Ooh, I'm going to buy this DMR. Uh, so, let me have her make me a couple of DMRs of this one. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, perfect. Got a gold one. Uh, okay, so now let's go here. And we'll go here. And we'll go here. And we'll upgrade as much as we can. By the way, Dunaway, if you ever... Do you have a PS4? I don't think you do, do you? You ever wanted to play this game, dude? Let me know, because you can play it for free with uh, you. There's like a friend pass thing that you can play it for free. Ooh, nice, got it maxed out. So let's go stick with standard. Oh, you do have a PS4 Pro. Oh, okay. Well, hey, if you ever feel like playing, I jokingly try to get Ibit to play, but he's he's like not into these games at all. Not not one bit. Uh, and then scope is the T5 Xi. Ooh. Uh, yeah, there it is, T5XI. We want that one. And let's paint it. Let's do a different color. Let's go with... Uh... Oh, it does. you can't do a color preset on it. Well, in that case, let's just change the magazine to... Uh... Let's do the tiger thing. And then let's do the scope to the tiger thing as well because why not? And then the stock, let's do that to the tiger color as well. Uh, and the barrel, right? Can we do the barrel? N no, we can do the muzzle though. Okay, there we go. Just to make it look different. Okay. And then we're gonna equip it because we wanna try it out. Cool, all right. And break camp, and we'll leave right now. There we go. This game came out like two years ago, I think it was. And, I mean, they've added stuff to it that makes me want to keep playing it. But even just doing these faction missions, which are kind of like your daily missions, right, uh, is so much fun. Um, and to get into that loop of, okay, you're going to... And infiltrate the bad guys like whatever the little encampment is or little whatever and you're sneaking around you're taking out bad guys and you're sink shotting guys and you're it's just, it's so much fun to get into that loop and it's so much better than I'm sorry if you're a big fan of Call of Duty I'm sorry but it's better than Call of Duty um, I had an itch to scratch way back when and I tried Call of Duty World War II I still have it on my PS4 and then a friend of mine said, hey, well, Wildlands is on sale, Ghost Recon Wildlands. 
which is this game's predecessor. And I was, man, I was in. I played Wildlands twice all the way through. The game's amazing. Uh, and then Breakpoint came out, and I had to get the Ultimate Edition and all that stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, you know, I never got into Call of Duty, but um, I played the World War II one. Oh, there's the there's the thing. I played the World War II one uh, quite a bit. Um, and I played, uh, what was it? Part three, Black Ops and the, 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 the zombie thing. Oh wait, hang on. We gotta go to the other rifle. I see one there. Nice. Ooh, this rifle's pretty cool. Plays multiplayer aspect, uh, X aspects I hosted land parties back then. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I never got into the Call of Duty stuff. My thing about Call of Duty was that um, that I liked about Wildlands and Breakpoint is that you don't have to go kind of A to B to C in your missions. Like there's no It's hard to explain. It's like you can do whatever missions you want first. And you have your main missions, you have your side missions, you have your faction missions, you have you can do raids, you can do PVP. You don't have to do all that you don't, you don't have to. Um, I like how you progress the weapons and everything. And this is the map. So you got like plenty of areas to explore. And then there's also up here on the right is this island. And there's three sectors to it. This used to be just for raids. So you could only go to this island when you were doing a, doing a raid with three other people. Um, but they've opened it up now so you can explore it without doing the raid but you can't do the raid missions by yourself. The thing that's interesting though is that here's Gollum Island. There's something right here. There's something right here. But they haven't, I mean, that might be an upcoming thing. I don't know. I mean, they just did Motherland. So I don't, I don't know. Um, oh wait, hang on. Faction mission. We got two more over here. Uh, destroy the glitching drone and where's the other one go oh it's right there clear out the drone camp okay we're gonna do those too so let's go let's go to this bivouac which is basically a fast travel Medal of Honor yeah uh, I vaguely remember that one I I'm so old Greg that I played Duke Nukem on a LAN. Uh, me and my brother-in-law, who is still my brother-in-law actually, uh, married to my sister, his work, they had like a whole LAN thing and it was like way early days. Well, Duke Nukem days. So we would at times go out to a dance place or whatever to listen to music and all that. And then we would go and play Duke Nukem at his work because obviously he could get in after hours and all that. Um, Okay, that's where we're going right there. Uh, and we would play, where I used to work, we would play Unreal. I think it was Unreal 2, Unreal Tournament 2, I think, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would play that, and then I remember where I used to work, um, I worked there for 11 years. There's one place, and we had all that stuff kind of set up, and we would play uh, Warcraft, no wait. Yeah, Warcraft 2 is which one we played. We'd play that, and we'd play the original StarCraft. Man, it was so much fun. Um, it was always so funny to me, because it's like, nowadays, we don't even think about, like, this guy, this friend of mine, uh, D-Bill. Actually, D-Bill might still be in the chat. Uh, he was going to go and play another game with somebody, but he's here in Texas as well, but he and I were playing the other day. Um, the idea that you can play with people who are like, you know, in the next country and it's not a big deal at all where's my thing here hang on uh okay there's search there oh here we go uh seeing oh there it is there's the glitching drone Ooh, look at him he's freaking out 
All right, I'm gonna try to do a base jump here. Nope, didn't work. Nope, didn't work. Nope, didn't work. Didn't work. Also, the crap ton of tech support. Yeah, uh, I uh, I didn't have a whole lot of tech support stuff that I did on PC, especially with when it comes to to land stuff. I was always Mac stuff. Um, my first Mac was a 6290, Performa 6290. Back when you had extensions on Mac, it was like OS, OS 7, I think, is what we used at the time. Back up and running. Um, I still remember the day when we went to OS 10, and it was like, wait, you mean I don't have to assign memory to different apps? That's weird. All right, we're gonna try something here. Cause all we have to do is destroy him, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch to a rocket launcher. Oh, he moved. Let's try it again. Nope. All right, we're gonna have to switch to the goblin. There we go, that got him. You just turn on your system and click. Boom, no setup or hosting. Yeah, uh... Man, back in those days when it would do... It was so funny, because I remember when Duke Nukem, you couldn't... Well, first of all, I don't think they even had it for Mac for the longest time. And then, for a while there, you couldn't play Mac and PC. And I remember whenever you finally could, it was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, I still remember me, me and this friend of mine uh, in high school, well, junior high and high school, uh, uh, we used to play on our, I think, we, well, we used to play on Nintendo as well as Super Nintendo, but I remember we'd be at his house and we would, I would, I would, I would say, man, wouldn't that be great if like you could be at your house and I could be at my house, but we could both be playing on our own TV and playing the same game and, you know. And, uh, boy, wouldn't that be cool? We could just be like, you know, what we do now, right? And it was just, it was so funny that we kind of fantasized about, boy, wouldn't that be great if we could do that? And now it's like, do it left and right. It's not a big deal at all. Um, tactical loot, got it. Grab this, yoink, yoink. Continue over here. Ooh, hang on. Uh, can we parachute? Can we try to parachute again? Because the parachuting is really cool when it's when you can actually do it and not die. Oh, here we go. Ready? Nope, didn't do it. There we go. That did it. There we go. Jeez Louise. All right, fine. Here we go. Yeah, Duke Nukem was a great game. Unreal. I didn't play Unreal as much. It was mostly Duke Nukem stuff. Um, and then StarCraft. And then when StarCraft 2 came out. And, uh, oh, here we go. We got two drones to take out these two guys right here. Ooh, can we land on top of this thing? Yeah. Here we go. Reloading. Reloading! By the way, Dunaway, that's from you and Scott. Playing, uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Watching Scott and Brian play, uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, hang on. Boom! Got him. Uh, oh, get down. Drone coming up overhead. See it in the mini-map? Little red triangular looking thing? Get down! And go pro camel. I mean, prone camo. So that way he can't see us. Because he's right. Where's he at? Oh, he's right over us. He's right. There he goes. 
that thing sees you, uh, all bad stuff happens. Yoink. Got him. Got him. Reloading. Yeah, that's what made me want to play Left 4 Dead 2. Was watching Scott and Brian play. Ooh, can we? Ooh, here we go. See what I mean? There goes the train. You do not want to get in the way of that train. It will kill you. Um, that may have been one of the first times I saw that I that I knew of Scott and Brian. And I guess I think the way I first knew about Scott was from the instance because I played World of Warcraft at the time. I don't anymore. Um, let's go ahead and go to this one. Um, and then I think. Oh, Aliens vs. Predator was a lot of fun back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like Bananas. You're absolutely right. I remember that. Because you could play as... What, which, no, which one am I thinking of that you could play as three different ones? It was Alien or Space Marine. What game am I thinking of that there was a third one you could play as? I remember the Alien vs. Predator, though. That, was, that game was fantastic. That was so dang cool. Um... Oh, I thought I had this selected. Yeah, okay, here we go. We're gonna try to... Actually, let's deploy bivouac first, because I think I need, uh... I need some, um... deals. I need some, uh... syringes. Uh... Oh, I don't remember where you could start off as a tiny alien. I don't remember that part. Uh... Maybe I didn't have the exact same game. I don't know, but, um... There was one game that you could play as... Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. You could play... That's... Is that the one I'm thinking of? You could play Predator, Alien, or Space Marine, right? Was that it? Was that the same one? That game was amazing. Because, like... If you played as Predator, you had, like, thermal vision and all that kind of stuff. It was really cool. That's the one I usually played as was a Predator or Space Marine. I didn't like playing as the Alien. I mean, it had some advantages to playing as that one, but I was like, eh. Don't care. Okay, let's buy one more of these. There we go. Yeah, that was the thing. The alien was kind of difficult. And I was like, eh, forget it. I remember I used to also play um, Star Trek. Uh, well, there was I had a Star Trek game for my Commodore. Or my Commodore. Um, I didn't have one for the Commodore 64. I did have a Commodore 64. I had a game for my Performa, my Mac Performa 6290. Uh, a Star Trek game for that one, but then the, the other one that I had was um, it was Voyager Elite Crew Elite something. There we go. That's what we want. There we go. Now we're gonna parachute all the way across this bay and locate this vehicle. Elite Force. That's what it was called. Elite Force. It was basically Voyager type. Uh, it was more Voyager themed than Next Generation. Yeah, um, it, me and my buddies played a lot of uh, first person shooter type games too. We liked, um, uh, I don't think we did Dawn of War, but we did a lot of Warcraft 2 um, and Starcraft and Starcraft 2. Duke Nukem, Unreal. Yeah, we didn't do. I didn't. I don't remember ever doing Battlefield 2042. I have thought about getting Battlefield 2042 because I've seen some people play it online and it looks pretty cool. But um, I feel like I don't really need to get that right now. I got too much other stuff to play. Oh, here we go. Got to get some intel over here. Put this on. See this? You got some thermal vision too, which looks pretty cool. It's getting dark. The sun's going down. And... Yoink! Investigate. So this is going to tell me to go somewhere else. 
back over that way. 3.2 kilometers. Well, you know what? Let's, uh... Oh, wait. Don't we want to be a passenger? Hang on. Uh... It's hard to get in these... Oh, there we go. Drive. Here we go. We could just have blast that called Join... Joint Ops? I don't think I remember that one. Hang on. There's got to be a... There's got to be a... Uh, a thing over here. Yeah, yeah, that's way too far. Um, well, you know what? There's not really. You know what? Let's just let's just see if we can boat over there. What was another one we played? Uh, we played a lot of games on like Commodore 64. That that for such a ridiculously ancient piece of uh, computer technology, we had a lot of fun on that game. On that console, if you will, computer. We love playing uh, Racing Destruction Set. Um, G.I. Joe was a big one. Um, uh, Bard's Tale. Bard's Tale 3. Bard's Tale 2 didn't really play that much. Um, oh, I loved all the Dungeons and Dragons games, like Pool of Radiance, uh, Curse of the Azure Bonds. Um, uh, I forget the other ones. Dude, I, same thing for me, Monkey Bananas. Of course, I wasn't too much of a kid. I was like 15, maybe, I think. Something like that. Um, but man, I loved all the D&D &D games. Sorry, AD&D. &D. Back then, it was Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. So it was version 2.0 of Dungeons & Dragons, where your Faco, to hit armor class 0, the lower your armor class, the better it was. Nowadays, it's the other way around. But, uh, yeah, Curse of the Azure Bonds, Eye of the Beholder, Pool of Radiance, Hills Far. Ugh, those games were great. Ooh, this might be just a matter of taking out a vehicle. Ooh, there's a helicopter here, too. Let's jump out. It's getting very dark. And I've got the settings set to, like, uh, super dark settings. So when night comes, it is super nighttime. Ooh. All right, so here's the thing. I don't want to destroy this helicopter. I want to steal it. But if I don't kill all these guys at once, this jackhole right here will jump in the helicopter and cheese off. So. So all of these guys are sync shotted up. Boom. Done. Reloading. Got a helicopter overhead, but I don't think it's going to see us. No, we're good. Alright, so now we got to steal this helicopter. Let's grab all this stuff that they may have dropped that I need. Yoink, 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 yoink. Alright, drive. I like that they call it, when you fly the helicopter, they call it driving. This way. And of course I could fire. Oh, there's info right there. Hopefully there's no trees over here, because trees will destroy your helicopter and the mission's over. No, we should be good. Man, it's getting dark. Oh, jeez. Jeez. I thought I was a lot closer to the, to the ground than I was. There we go. There we go. Mission complete. There we go. Okay. Open, open, open. And there's info right here. DMR. Cool. It, it's basically going to just be a weapon I sell, but that's fine. Oh, six Semper Tyrannus. That's the thing that John Wilkes Booth said to Lincoln, by the way. Uh, which is, death to all tyrants. That's basically what that means. Uh, it's not too far away. Um, oh, you know what? Let's see if it lets us take the helicopter. No, it does not. Fine, be that way. Where's the, where's the car? 
Where's the car? There's supposed to be a car. Oh, there it is. Jeep. Jeep. We'll take it. Okay. Here we go. Lights would be good here. Now, lights are great, but even better than lights is night vision. Just gotta watch out for large trees and large rocks. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Oops. Oops. Oh, there we go. No, there we no. Left. Donetcho. Okay, there we go. Oh, these stinking trees, man. Oh, nice, Greg. Cool, man. Yeah, ESO is another one of those that I've, I've played a little bit, but not enough to really get into it. I, d I tell you, though, I prefer it over Warcraft at this point, because Warcraft... Um, man, I just can't see paying 15 bucks a month and then, like, 60 70 $80 for expansions, and I just don't have enough time to play it. ESO is so much better because it's, it's free to play, but you pay for the actual game. But still, that's way better than uh, the alternative. But yeah, I couldn't get into ESO that much. I, I like, I love it. I just couldn't. Uh, there's just so much to it, you know. Oh, there's a boat right here. All right, hang on. It's drone up. So we're just looking for the Sentinel Commander. Ooh, there he is right there. Can we... Can we not... Here we go. We can target him. Let's see if my teammates can target him. Oh, look at that. Oh, so they had him. Hang on. He's right there. Roger's getting in position. Take out his friend as well. As soon as that A goes solid, here we go. Wait for it. Probably not. Probably can't take him out. He would need to come out. So, oh, nope. Oh yeah, here we go. Boom! Got him. Mission complete. Mission complete. That mission's done. All right. Let's see about going to the next mission now. Uh, oh, look at this. We only got four more. Okay, here we go. Here's locate the squad. Those are usually pretty easy. Uh, override the antenna. Is it raining outside? I have my my parents. I I got them some wise cameras as well, and so the one that's on their driveway, like the front of the house, I have I have. It shared to my phone. The funny thing is that every time it goes off, it's like it's because there's a spider web in front of the camera lens. So it's it thinks that it's seeing movement, but it's actually just a spider web in front of the lens. Okay. Uh, and there's another locate the squad. All right, so let's go. Let's go to this one first. Um, oh, I was about to say, if only we had a vehicle. Here we go. So all those guys are freaking out because their commander just got shot. Alright, here we go. You can kind of see even better like this, really. But it's it's harder to see because it's such a weird color. Oh, I got... Oh, hang on. I need to start another movie. My computer went to sleep there. Uh, yeah, the Black Friday... Uh, man. Black Friday sale on PlayStation stuff is great, but I just don't... I don't see anything that I really, really want. Um, I'd love to play Back for Blood, but I just don't want to spend the money right now. All right, let's play. Um, I 
you know what? I'm just going to play the rock again. Just because. I guess I can close out Dunaway's channel now. Oh, Felicia, Felicia Day is, is streaming. Here's a link to her channel in case you guys ever want to watch Felicia Day stream. She's great. She, uh, You might know her from Dr. Horrible. Uh, she had the guild. Um, she's been in a bunch of other stuff. She's in Buffy, I believe, right? Hey, it's for horses. Oh, that's a rock. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Watch out. Okay, here we go. Sometimes I try to run over those guys, but there's too many rocks and stuff everywhere. Okay, here we go. 600 meters in closing. Just get out here. This mission, I'm meant to locate the squad, I believe. Hang on. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is locate the squad. Come on, dude, just, just, just go. It's just fine if you slip and slide. It's fine. Just go. up. So the locate the squad is just going to be like a group of bad guys that you have to take out. I got a hostile over there. Not these guys because they're not, they're just regular like bad guys. We're looking for a specific group. Still no. We got some snipers. Sometimes if we go to this helps. Oh, there's a couple... That's civilians, you don't want to kill them. Another bad guy there, some more bad guys here. Uh, there's a sniper there. Oh, there's a civilian to talk to. Uh, another civilian. So it looks like the squad may not actually be here. We might have to like look up some info and that will tell us where the squad has moved to is usually what happens. A bunch of jerks right here. Alright, let's get down. Get down. Get down. Okay. Alright. I like that you can push down on the D-pad to hide or show that stuff. Your mini-map will hide as well if there are no bad guys in the vicinity. But since there are, it doesn't go away. But I kind of like that, because also it'll go away once you take out all the bad guys, which is really cool. Ooh, that was close. I got a hostile over there. Okay, where is this info? Is it a person or is it just a thing? Oh, it's a person right here. Hello. No need to fear. No need to fear. I just talk like Duke Nukem. Help me with some information, really. would you? Now you know it all. Awesome. Thanks. Okay, so the squad apparently has moved. <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess I'm going to move then. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's fast travel here. Well, wait, where's the... Oh, this is the fourth one right here. Okay. So let's go to this one. So since the bad guys didn't see us, we can still fast travel. If they had seen us and we were in the middle of a, uh, a battle and a fight and all that, then that'd be bad. All right. 
still nighttime. I could have, uh, I could bivouac and then uh, come out of there once it's daytime, but nah, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna go to this one right here. This is locate the squad, so it's directly behind me. So it's right over there. All right, let's activate my thing. Vision. So night vision is is meant to be um, where it amplifies the ambient light in the vicinity, like around you, so you can see. The bad part about it is that if somebody shines a flashlight at you, you're, it's going to blind you because it's going to amplify that light as well. That's why sometimes it's better to do this because this will show you thermals rather than ambient light. Okay. Now, we want to look for the, oops, can I not go that way? I see some red splotches up ahead in a car. It's probably going to be where they're at. And I'm sliding. Yeah, I'll bet that's them right there. Wow, I'm sliding all the way down. Yep, that's them. Wait for that patrol car to, to go by. Actually, let's do this. Since there's no civilians around, we can do this. Wait, you know what? Let's do this without anything. Let's just do this. So that's where this is going to fire. Boom! Got him. So now, before the car explodes all the way, let's grab any stuff that they had. Okay. And then we'll let it, uh, let it explode the rest of the way. Because right now it's just on fire, right? Like, what hit it? There you go. There it is. Alright, so, now... There's a shithead over there. We'll go over here next, which is locate the squad. So that's, again, kind of directly behind me. So go this way. Uh, and we blew up the car that we could have taken, but that's okay. It's all right. I see one there. Actually, you know what? There's a car over here. Let's grab this car. I'm not gonna lie. These new attacks got me shook. There's Marking no way. Ranger. It's just outcasts. I swear. Even civilians are getting squirrely, bro. So now we can do this. They're not just protesting anymore either. We're talking full-on sabotage. The other day, my squad there we go. a woman go. hiding two go outcasts there. in her house. This bitch. Damn! Go for your head! One more. Got him. Reloading. Okay, so we'll grab all their stuff. God, these guys were sleeping in that? I'm like, dude, no way. You must have pissed off your CO to, <laughs> to get this duty. Alright. Now. We have lights. We're trying not to destroy our lights. Uh, there's already trees everywhere. Jeez Louise. Ooh, watch out, pig. Or hog, whatever. Oh, that, that destroyed our lights. Oh, well. It's okay. Hey, maybe there's a helicopter up here. That'd be sweet. We could always do a bivouac, and then from the bivouac, when you exit, you can have it... Uh, Provide one of your vehicles, but then you got to, but you got to go bivouac. Okay, that's probably gonna be the squad right there. Now, sometimes when you locate the squad, there's civilians around, so we'll approach and see. This looks like it's gonna be one of the ones where there's civilians. Let's fire one of these. Yep, there's gonna be civilians. See, they're interrogating the civilians. So we're gonna, well, move around where we can see them better. And we're gonna go, oops. Moving to position. Boop, Roger, boop, in. and boop. Engage. And the third, or the fourth guy, we're gonna kill ourselves. Boom, got them all, mission complete. Oh, and the Azrael drone's overhead, so let's go prone. There, now we're invisible. There 
goes the drone overhead. There he goes. Alright. Now, again, let's grab all the crap that they dropped. Yoink. Looks like they already killed one dude. And this dude was scared to death. Jerks. Alright. I think we have one more mission to go. No, we got two more. Uh, this one is over identity. You know what? Let's go to this one. And let's go ahead and bivouac so we can get a helicopter real quick. And we'll go from there. All right, deploy bivouac. We'll skip the animation. So now we're basically holding up and camping. Do we need to, to craft anything? Uh, no. Do we need to purchase anything? Possibly. Let's go to the shop and let's sell any weapons I don't need. Boop. And what I'm doing is sell all, but I have some of these weapons marked as favorite so it would it does not sell the ones that are favorited so that works really well let's go to this uh no i don't need any items so we'll go ahead and break camp and you know what let's leave at 0823 that way it's light because when it's dark sometimes it's too dark which is i mean that's part of the that's part of why you do it okay and our chopper is right over here and we're gonna get to the top of perfect impression of Schwarzenegger, I must say. Not really. My Schwarzenegger impression is purposefully bad because I can't do a good one. Alright, here we go. Uh, so we'll go do this one next. And we'll do that last one. And then we'll quit tonight because it's. We've been streaming for 3 hours and 45 minutes. This thing here launches drones, but you can't destroy it. It'd be cool if you could, but it's, uh, it can't be destroyed. Oh, wait. Have you guys ever seen the drones come out of it, though? Watch. Look. Panels open on the side. Look at it. And look at all the drones just launch like insects. When I first saw that thing launch, it scared me. It was like, that's creepy. Something about... You know like that feeling you get when you see a bunch of bees? Bees, bees, millions of bees! It's that kind of, like, feeling, you know? Okay, let's just land. There's probably going to be a couple three dudes guarding this thing. Myself. Here he comes. I like the sound of this rifle. Activating the combat drone. Get the firepower going, fix it. There we go. Reloading. Yeah, this rifle is pretty cool. I like it. It's not a sniper, it's a DMR. There we go, I got him. I like it because it uh, it's not bolt action, so it can fire pretty continuously, like you can fire over and over again. That's pretty cool. The TAC-50 is great, but it's slower to fire over and over again. Like it, It's like boom, boom, uh, you know, it's 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 you if you miss, y it's not good. Bad guy's got a chopper up. Stay low. All right. Oh, we got to defend the objective now. Here we go. Okay. 
Come on, reload. Reload. Or not reload, but heal. Ah, dead gummit. Come on. Come on, heal me, you guys. Let's go. Come on. Put me in, coach. <sighs> or just take your time. And you know what? I'm also going to switch weapons. Coblin is great, but uh, for this kind of thing, what you need is the stoner. Because it has a very large magazine. Uh, come on, teammates. You're like right next to me. Come on. Hi, Chihuahua. Come on, you guys. Well, it looks like my mission might have to be done before they actually revive me. Because I assume that they're, what they're doing is trying to hit the helicopters. But they're not good at hitting helicopters. Looks like they took out one, though. 26 seconds left to defend. Mm, 12 seconds. Yeah, they'll just wait. I assume that they're trying to kill the helicopters, what's happening. Well, mission complete, so that's good. Come on, you guys. Any time now. Hey, look at that. I got a P320. If I do give up, um, I don't know if it's going to show me... I don't know if it's going to keep this mission as completed, though. Okay, for real, you guys. Come on. I don't even know if they're firing on this helicopter. All right, let me get a few more minutes. A few more minutes, a few more seconds. Not minutes, jeez Louise. By the way, did you guys watch uh, the first two episodes of um, Hawkeye? It was really good. I love Haley Seinfeld. Uh, it was really good, but it was a little, um, I mean, it's only the first two episodes, so it's kind of hard to see where they're going, but it seemed a little, a little disjointed, but I, I really enjoyed Haley Steinfeld and um, uh, Jeremy Renner's like their whole relationship is fantastic. It's really great. Um, well, I might need to go ahead and give up because uh, they're not rescuing me, so I guess I might as well just give up. I hate doing that, but. Uh, don't have a choice because they were not resing me. That's not a new trailer. Get out of here. I hate when the, these sites will say like, oh, check out this new trailer. And you go, it's from November 2nd. It's not new. You're just trying to get me to click on your crap. I'm not doing it. I hate that. Okay. Um, oh, good. They didn't make me start over. Good. Uh, you know what? There's a chest over here, but I don't know if I want to get it. Because it might be up on... Yeah, see, it's up, so I'm not going to mess with it. All right, here we go. Uh, so this is the last one we're going to do. And the closest bivouac is going to be here. All right. Uh, I think this one is to locate the squad as well, so I might go ahead and keep my stoner uh, light machine gun. 
so funny. It's called a light machine gun, but it's not light. I mean, this thing is, it holds, one magazine holds 150 rounds. And it's, there is no suppressor on it. It's very loud, does a lot of damage. It's fantastic, but there's nothing light about it. Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. We got to go way up there. Um, hang on. Let me, drone, let me drone up and see if there's anything. Uh, no, I'm going to have to. I hate bivouacking because it just takes time. Like, all I want to do is go into bivouac and go right back out of bivouac. That's all. Um, actually, I think I need some syringes, though. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. So yeah, that's all we're doing is going in and coming right back out again. That's it. Because we want a helicopter. There it is over here. Whenever stuff is like up like that, I'm like, forget it. Just get a helicopter. It's a lot easier. If you're new to the game and you want to explore, cool. But otherwise, it's like, yeah, just grab a helicopter, man. It's so much easier. Because, I mean, you can, you know, you can climb all that. It's fine. But it's just... Oh, this is hack the computer. Um... We got the sniper. Oh, I did not mean to kill a civilian. Got him. Got him. Oops. Get down. Now, damn it. All right, here we go again. And thing's about to explode, and I'm going to be toast. Yeah, I'm toast. <sighs> I should have just landed. That's the problem with those snipers, though, man. Those snipers, two shots, and that's it. You're dead. You're toast. And they're surprisingly really good shots. Even if you're in a helicopter and moving around, it's kind of unfair. Because if I'm shooting at a helicopter with my sniper rifle, I can't get... I can't do that good of a shot. So it's kind of unfair, but whatever. Uh, okay, they put us right on the mark here, so that's good. All right, let's go to this. Okay. Got him. Heal. Notice I still have not reloaded. Oh, I do. I need to now, though. I'm moving up. Reloading. And he tries to fight, but nope. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, jeez. Let's go over here. Reload. This takes a while to reload, obviously. I mean, for obvious reasons. All right, let's see if we can take out this drone right here. Boom, got him. Ooh, 
Yoink. Nice. Alright, dude, you might want to get out of here, by the way. Just FYI. Now, I don't know if this is going to be hack the computer and we're done, or it's going to be defend. Oh, no, it isn't. We're done. Alright, cool beans. Now, we got to go and get the gold item, of course. Got him. Reload. Well, we just don't really need to reload. Got him. Ooh, I'm almost, I'm almost gonna level up. Let's go grab the gold item. Reloading. Oh, there's a purple item here too. Let's grab that too. Uh, there it is down there. Oops. And we'll switch back to the cobble here in just a second. Because this LMG light machine gun is great, but yeah, it's loud and it's yeah, it's not so great. For that. Alright, we're gonna switch back to the Coblin. The Coblin is the best. And this DMR, you know, we'll stick with it for right now. Um, ooh, there's a, hang on, question mark over here. That means it's an area that I have not discovered yet. It's not that. Hmm. Oh, there it is right down here. Oh, it's right below me. Hang on. There it is. Map updated. Scale technology location. So now you can do this and view it on the map. There's a tactical vest there, so that's kind of cool. All right. But we're not going to go over there yet. We're going to just go and let's go bivouac. Uh, you know, let's go to Air One. We'll fast travel here. And then we'll quit uh, here. And then, I was going to say get ready for bed, but, well, yeah, actually, I think we will get ready for bed because it's 930, which is not that late, but I don't want to stay up too late because I don't want to... Like today, I, I went and did my jog, but it was like 10 a.m. almost. And I'm like, I don't want to be doing my jog that late. Because tomorrow, as you guys well know, is our Discord chat. Uh, hopefully, my two moderators that are currently in chat will be able to make it. We'll see. Monkey Bananas has been there before, but the other moderator that's in my chat has not actually been there yet. So... Actually, he'll probably be streaming himself, though. But um, I'm always hoping he'll he'll drop in at some point. It's because it's funny. It's like there's certain members of the Tadpool who I've seen them stream and I've chatted with them in their channel, and they've seen me stream and chatted with me in my channel, but we've never actually spoken to each other, family. which is kind of funny. All right, now. Mads will be damn pleased to know you're here. Uh. Let's do this bivouac. Oops. Oops. And then this way we're in the bivouac. In here. There we go. Skip the animation. Don't need that. Okay, so now... I don't think I need to craft anything. Oh, I do. Oops. Oops. I picked an ingredient that I only had one more of. There we go. Now let's go to the shop. Sell anything I need to. Sell these. Uh, and I still don't have even close to buy anything else here. Oh, but you know what? Let's go to the DMR and let's buy... Uh, was it this one, the 110? I think so. Oh wait, hang on. If we want a gold item, we gotta switch out some weapons. Hang on. Instead of this one, the M110, we're gonna switch it to this Scorpion. That way my gear score goes up. I don't think I have a better weapon here. 
No, they're all 250. So now my gear score will go up. That means that I'll have a better chance of getting gold items for the M110 when I have her make me one from the blueprint. Nope. 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 There we go, gold. Uh, range and automatic marking. That's fine, that works. So now we can go here and switch back to the M110 that we just picked up and we'll make that a favorite. Select it and uh, all that stuff's fine. Oh, the stock, I didn't change out the stock before. Um, I don't really the recoil and all that stuff is not really that big of a deal. Although I guess, uh, hang on, who sent me a thing? Oh, dude, I, I, I would love to play with you, but if I don't know you, I don't, I don't just jump on with people. Um, I like the vertical recoil that keeps it from going up and down. Right? So that's better, but that looks pretty cool right there. Let's see, that's horizontal, horizontal. Let's do that one, that, that's kind of cool looking. And the under barrel uh, bipod, because that gives you more range. Yeah. Plus it just looks cool. Oh, also, let's paint. Uh, dang it, well let's, oh wait, yeah, well, here we go. Boom, there we go, that looks cool. All right. How does the 110 though compare to my tack? Just curious. Oh, tack 50, bro. Um, so yeah, the tack 50 is way more accurate. Has worse recoil. Uh, does way more damage too. But you know, I'll, I'll 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 play around with this rifle for now. But now let's go back to the store, and we're gonna sell those other rifles that we picked up because we don't need them. So we'll go over here and sell. Boom. Uh, and I don't think we needed anything here. No. Okay, so we're good. All right. So, yeah, I think I'll quit here for tonight. Um, tomorrow is Saturday. I probably won't stream any tomorrow. Um, we got the Discord chat at noon, my time, noon central. Um, and then probably going to hang out with my friends that tomorrow evening. Um, and then Sunday I'll go visit my folks and I might stream maybe when I get back from my folks house, but we'll see. The thing is, you know, I had five, well, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off from work, then two days for vac for weekend, which is great. Uh, it sucks going back to work on Monday, but the nice thing is that, so that's next week, the week after, then that third week I have Friday off and then the next two weeks off, which is going to be fantastic. Um, I'm hoping this year's Christmas vacation will be way better than last year's, because last year's kind of sucked. Um, I'm sure everyone's kind of sucked. But anyway, uh, anyway, I will see you guys then. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Thank you, Brian uh, Dunaway, for, for, the, for the raid. I appreciate that. That was awesome. And thanks, everybody, for hanging out and, um, you know, chatting and everything. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Uh, like I say, it'll probably be Sunday night. So in the meantime, I'm going to hit this button, and then this button, and then this button, and then this button.